Hello, this is Tim. I hope you're doing well. Um, at this stage now, hopefully um, you're in pretty good shape with sheet metal. Um, I'm going to move on to the next project, which uh, is something uh, I call um, a mini electronic enclosure project. Okay, so we're going to use our sheet metal, uh, that we, our newfound skill, and we're going to uh, uh, do use it for an application. An application that's very, very common uh, and something I've done a lot of over the years. Now, um, uh, SolarWorks is, is very, very good um, for something called electronic enclosures. Now, what is an electronic enclosure? Typically, um, what is it? You're putting electronics into a box. It's not quite that simple, though. Um, here is actually a nice image here. I'm going to have to type in electronic enclosure design in Google. I'm after going to images, and I have larger than 1024 by 768. And I'm going to click on this one. This is this is quite nice. Um, so here, I don't know if this is, is this this couldn't be modelled. Um, maybe it is. This may be actually be a model of it. Um, anyway, here's a box, a sheet metal box. I think we're going to model something just like this. Actually, this is our mitre um, flange right there, which we need to practice. Let me write this down. I'm going to save this. This is a nice image. Um, very good image. Now, we're going to have our sheet metal box, we have a fan, we have connectors, so you typically have connectors in the back, I'm going to have connectors in the back. Now what type of connectors are we going to have? We're going to have common ones, like um, USB, um, what else can we have? We need um, a 9 pin, um, this is called a D-sub connector. Okay, we're going to have a DC connector. We're going to have a BNC flange, common ones that, that I would have used over the years. So you have a fan, you have connectors, you have on and off buttons. What else? Um, we have ele uh, the electronics, the main motherboard, okay? And then what else? I'm going to have an LCD screen at the front. Um, that's what we're going to do for this first project. And we're going to, we're going to, we're going to download all these parts um, from very well known websites and now we're going to design the sheet metal around it. This is what I get paid to do when I do side work. This is what I do. Um, so I'm not going to I'm not going to give you all my secrets, but um, I'm going to show you a few tricks. Okay. Um, so now you know. Uh, let's look. Let's ma let's maybe look at a few more uh, sheet metal examples here. No, no. Hold on. Electronic enclosure design. See, is there any other good ones? Let's get another example. The other thing that people use SolarWorks for, and I think it's it's a little bit. Uh, I don't. F I I think it's it's still. I think it, uh, a real prototype. D you can do a lot more with it, but I think what they're doing. This is not a very good image, but yeah, there we go. What they're doing is they can model um, a circuit board and heat sinks and things, and you'll actually see on a fan, you can actually see how the the cooling effect will will affect the electronics. Um, but that's that's I think that's over our heads right now. That's worry of just creating an electronic enclosure. So, um, what will we start? Write these. I would write these things down. We need a switch. We need an LCD. We need a fan. It's going to be thirty five millimeter fan. We're going to have connectors, BNC, USB, DC connectors, and the D sub. So, um, I'm going to create a new folder here, and I'm going to call this Tim's Electronic Enclosure Project. Okay, and what are the two websites that we can find a lot of these parts? We're going to I'm going to first show you GrabCAD, which is very very nice. Okay, let's go to grabcad.com. And it doesn't work. Why not? Here we go. Grabcad helps mechanical engineers build great products faster. The first thing we're going to look for is... Um, I found, um, w just so you realize, this this design we're creating, we don't care about, it's not going to function. It's just 
uh, an ele- uh, it's just an enclosure project. It's about, I don't know if, uh, basically what a lot of people who do electronics enclosures, they say that we have 10 pounds of shit and we're putting it into a five pound bag. That's what we do. We, we package stuff I- in a very, very small um, area or a small volume. Now, I'm going to type in PCB. We're just going to get a, a, some sort of a printed circuit board that will just do it. The pr- just a pretend printed circuit board. Now, I found one before. Um, so, hold on. Uh, this kind of looks good, this smoothie board, but it's not. And then you have these uh, micro. Uh, this is, I think this is what I wanted to use. Um, it's by, it says P. Let me just make sure this is the one that I had found before. Yeah. This is kind of a nice job. It's by, I don't know who this guy is, Haytem. It says cart CPU fairy tale type SND for medical domain. This is what we're going to use. This is going to be our pretend circuit board. This is a nice circuit board that he, he designed. So it, it looks good. Um, I'm going to download the file. I'm going to sign into my Grab Pacat account. So let's have a look. Hmm. All right, PCB. Okay. Now, watch this. Let's let inside Tim's electronic enclosure project. I'm going to go, and we're going to call this PCB. We'll put a folder. Let's create a folder called um, connectors. It's important to get good at file management, connectors, um, buttons, um, and then we'll have a fan, a, dra- a directory called fan. Now, um, in the real world, you're not going to go to GrabCAD and download a PCB. An electronic engineer or an electronic guru in your company will send you this design. And you might actually have to model it up, or they might give you a printed circuit board that you'll have to take a calipers to and model this up yourself. Okay, so let's. I'm going to click on. Here we go. I had downloaded it. I'm going to drag this in to PCB. It's a zip file. I'm going to click on the zip file. And with 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 this specific zip file, can we? I'm going to open up all these. Oh, come on now. Unzip all of this. Okay. Now the fo- the, if I right click and I go sort by type, um, the the f- the f- this is I th- I don't know if he was French or something, but um, or or what's the deal? But uh, but the le- le- let's this is the file that you're interested in. Cart CPU update. So this is we're going to call this um. Uh, uh, we're going to call this main motherboard PCB or something. This will do the job. Main motherboard PCB. I'm going to double click on it, and what it will do. Let's see how how wh- whether it's in good shape. It looks like there's some small issues with some parts. Now, this thing has a nice heat sink also attached to it. I'm going to click on the heat sink. I'm going to press delete. We don't need it. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's a good design. For some reason, the top of this board is, is grey. We're going to open it up, the part. We're going to um, open up appearances here. And there's some sort of issue going on here. I'm going to remove appearance. And then I'm going to save. And then I'll close it. Now let's see what else is going on. This receptacle is having a problem. Let's just open this and see what the issue is. We we'll just, I hate to say it, let's just delete the parts that are having problems with. It's all good. This will be our test printed circuit board. Okay, I'm saving it now. Okay, I'll close it down. And we're done with the PCB, so that's good. Let me just check that off my list here. PCB. 
what's next let's go for the LCD now we're going to stay in grab CAD LCD displays um, I'm going to type in LCD and I'm going to go with one of these old style ones these li the liquid crystal ones um, there's newer ones now that are like little monitors um, it, that's a little bit complicated for what we're trying to do there's two main types of LCDs that you see you see a 20 by 4 which is a little bit bigger and then you see a 16 by 2 the 16 by 2 is the most common one this will do right here so I typed in LCD and it looks like it's by Stefan I'm going to click on this model okay LCD display 16 by 2 this looks great um, so the other thing is this Stefan makes a good point this model won't be 100% accurate it is just drawn by the information given by the data sheet which is pretty good I guess it's good enough to plan your housings now whenever you whenever you're modeling a part or it's always good to double check it's always good to get a pair of calibers on it and just double check you know so we'll, I'll, we'll download this I'm going to right click create a folder called LCD and let's go back to here okay and let's grab all of this and put it in LCD and then let's delete this now I don't see any SolarWorks files there but it's okay I see an STP and I see an IGS these are general standard um, CAD files that any CAD program could open up so we go open make sure it says all files here LCD step LCD 16 by 2 dot step give it a second or two look at that beautiful let's turn on the lines and I'll go save okay so just save all of that and now I have my assembly and that looks good we have LCD done okay um we need an on off button so let's go back to grab cad when i'm if i'm designing an on off button i like rocker switches but not too big a rocker switch and this this will do the job right here any of these will do this one here is fine double pole rocker switch by this chap right here or this one here will do this one looks a little bit better let's go with this okay I'll download let's, is this downloading here 11.7 we'll give it a second or two and then we'll um, move it into buttons now what's the next we have that done fan we need a fan slow isn't it so fun this is a bit overkill here um, what size of a fan we want a 35 millimeter fan is what we want a very common um, now if I type in fan 35 will that help mm. okay or an axial fan We also have a fan guard, okay. God, these are big fans, this might not work. Um, okay, I'll try this again. Just do, we'll go for a normal fan. Um, 120 millimeters is too big. Okay. Hundred and forty millimeters is too big. Let's just keep looking. 30 millimeter fan. This will do the job right here. It's by Mitch Pricer. Okay. So this is good. Um, yeah, I can work with this. Okay. So we'll download this. And we'll open up fan. Let's grab our rocker switch. Now let's we can put in fan for a second and we'll move it out. Okay. Let me just grab, we'll move this into the right folder. 
and let's open this up did this person not provide us with um he didn't provide us with a bloody um any sort of use uh, useless okay so let's forget about that for a second let's go back to fan and let's open this up i suppose i'm going i'm moving a bit fast i'm looking for when i open up a file um when I, when I open up a file from GrabCAD, and first anyone who uploads something to GrabCAD that doesn't have a 3D model is a bit of a tosser, in my opinion. Um, so you, you're looking for a SolidWorks model, um, a step file, and IGES. So um, our fan looks good. Let's open up the fan. Okay, and let's save that. Okay, that'll do and let's go back so we're missing a rocker switch okay rocker switch now, I don't know why yeah it's just an image it's useless to us um, what about here I'll click here rocker switch this is good here you go um, now this is by I, I, I wouldn't even know how to begin to pronounce his name there but that's it this is this is perfect this is a good rocker switch and it looks like he's included a solid part so this guy's this, this is fantastic um, so let's go back to buttons let's let's pull this rocker switch over and let's pull out the from the zip file Let's pull out the SolidWorks model, and that looks good. Let's open it up and just test it. It's very dark. He has it locked, the camera locked. Okay, how do I unlock this? Can I use this as an image? It'll be fine. Um, I'll have to play around with that. Let's, but let's make it a different color so we can see it. Okay, good. We'll deal with that later. Okay, so we have a rocker switch, we have a fan model, we have an LCD model, um, I have a PCB. I'm not going to provide you with any of these um, any of these parts. You're going to have to download them yourself. Now we need connectors. So let's go back to grab CAD. Um, okay, let's type in BNC connector. <clears throat> this will do right here by Stuart Mitchell. This is what we want. This is called a flanged BNC. And this is important because it has four holes. Um, this is good. This is what we want. And you can see the part number and everything that they're after referencing, which is good. Okay, so we'll put this in here in connectors. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to even create folders for the different ones. BNC. Um, what's another one? D sub, these are all very common. Um, D sub, B and C, what's the other one? USB, and we'll go with type A. What's the other one uh, we're missing? A DC jack. Now this guy is after uploading, um, this is an inventor file that I got from him. This isn't going to work, but we don't worry, um, I have a backup plan. So the BNC is not going to work. Uh, let's try something else. Let's just try BNC. I'm looking for a, a, a one that has that shape. Um, this isn't going to work. This is not going to work. Okay, we'll f this might actually work for us though. Um, no, we'll do we'll do it another one. Okay. Uh, okay, let's try USB then. USB connector. Now, uh, when you work for a company, they're just going to tell you what connectors you're going to use. An el electronic person is going to say, um, "John, we want uh, two USBs, two BNCs." They'll just tell you exactly what type they will want. Um, you know, as a as a mechanical person, you don't have to worry about that. This is good, I like this right here. Um, this will work. This is a sealed connector by a company called Amphenol, which I'm using right now in a different design. 
so it's by a guy called lonely player okay so i'll click on this and let's see what they're providing a solid part so this will do let's drag this in here and we'll we'll all pull this out okay with the usb done now without a d sub this this will do it's not uh, panel connectors this is really the one we want right here um, this is interesting okay I might we'll download it we'll see if we can get it to work it's by Stan Willy panel by panel connector okay alright um, D sub let this download now what's next? A DC connector. Mm, no, this won't work. A DC jack. This will do the job right here. This is nice. It has it has threads and everything. We can drill a hole and put this right into it. Um, part excellent. We're good. This will do. Um, again, this is where I'm getting it. You have you can see that the the if you need to type this in, you'll find it that way. Um, okay. Go away. Hopefully this will work. Let's try this DC jack. So we'll open this up in SolidWorks. DC jack. Ah, this is good. We do not want to run import diagnostics. Um, the part will typically be fine. We do not want to proceed with feature recognition. These are called dumb models. You should know what that is. This is a dumb. We don't care about whether this has a feature tree or not. It's just we just want the, the geometry. We just want the we just want the geometry is all we care about. We don't we don't care. We don't need to do any feature recognition on it. So we're done with the DC jack. Um, let's go back to D sub. Well, let's see if we can download this panel connector dot zip. Let's put this in D sub. Okay. Um, what happens if I open this one up? Good. This is what we want. We want the nine pin. We just want a normal nine pin connector. Female. Okay. Let's just drag that out. And of course, it's in. It's in Inventor. Let me see if SolidWorks will open up an Inventor file. It doesn't seem to do that great of a job. Hmm. Useless. All right. That doesn't work okay so in terms of our connectors we're happy with the usb we're happy with the dc jack i'm going to show you another website um that you can download stuff from 3d content central.com i'll type in bnc flange um <clears throat> okay what are the differences between grab cad and 3d content central grab cad um, is definitely improving. It's more a kind of a website that people put up and kind of show off to one another and it's it's a good community um, 3d content central is used by businesses a little bit more so they will upload their a, a company like an electronic company or mechanical company will upload all of their parts into 3d content central why they want you to use if you can download the part um, you will probably put it in your design Okay, now I'm just going to type in BNC connector, BNC connector, and I'm looking for a square flange. Let's type in flange. This will do right here. I think this is good. Um, it's by a, a company called Claude Vis this can or something um now he, is this let, if i zoom back and see that this is this will do the job yeah perfect okay um i'm going to configure and download and i'm just okay so hold on let's drag this into bnc 
Is it a part? Let's have a look at it. Oh, this will work just fine. Good stuff. Okay, we have a BNC connector now. So the last thing is a D sub. So we go back to here. And I'm going to type in D sub uh, 9 pin maybe. 9 pin female. And this is it right here. This one here will do the job. It's by a company called... Um, is it up there? This is good. Okay. T don't bother with zipped. Don't bother to to rate the model. I usually bring it down a year or two. I just it, that means it's going to work. Um, okay. Can I click on this, and then it pulls it to there, and then I drag it over. Right. I think we have everything. Let's have a look. Let me just close all this down. You're going to spend a lot of time as a SOLIDWORKS person. You don't draw a, a lot of the stuff up. You, you're, you're modeling the enclosure, but all the parts you're going to use in the design, you would find those. You're going to get that information from your electronics person. It's, uh, it's wise to have a good relationship with the electronics person you're working with. Um, now, we have uh, the PCB, printed circuit board. We have the LCD. We have a fan. We have the connectors. And we have a rocker switch. Okay, so what's next? Um, I'm gonna cl I'm gonna put this. We don't need that. Let's put this in here. A nice image. Okay. So what's next? We're gonna create an ass we're gonna create an assembly. The first part I'm gonna bring in is what do you think the PCB. And I'm gonna click on here quick filter, and I'm gonna use main motherboard PCB. Alright, what I'm going to do is I want to flip this in the Z. Will that work? No. I'm going to flip it in the X. And I'm going to just hit the check button. It'll put it right in the center of the assembly. Will it do that for me? Good. If I click on right, no, it didn't. Okay, let's look at the main motherboard. I'm going to hit float. Do you see where it says plan the face and left? I'm guessing this is right and that's left. No, this is this is left and that's right. You can see this is modeled by a French person, you know, so you can see the French language there. Um, now, what we want to do is we want to center this up at least. There's our top plane. A good plane to make that top plane will be the bottom part of the LCD. And then I'm going to make... Um, it would be nice if this was centered, but it's not. Um, let's get ourselves a center plane. Um, we need to make this here. Hold on. Let's open this. Can, if I open up this part, does it, did, was this modeled? He didn't use center planes. Okay. Let's open up this PCB. And let's create some reference planes. So I'm going to create a plane that's in the center of the board. So I'm going to click that face and that face. And I'm going to go OK. Now where is it? It's down the bottom. I'm going to right click on this. And I'm going to go, um, can I can I click on it once? We're going to call this mid plane 1. OK? Because we, we didn't have one. Can we turn it on? If I go view, hide all types, display. Um, hold on, hide. Let me turn on planes. OK. Let's turn this pl this bullshit plane off here. Now where's my mid plane? There it is there. Okay. That's one plane. That's good. That's all we really need. So I'll save that. And let's close it down. And now I come back in here and where do I have a mid plane? Right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna make that mid plane with the right plane of the assembly plane. Okay, I'm gonna make this face with the front plane and now my board is locked into place okay whenever you're doing assemblies y you need to have some you got to have some manners on the planes uh, let's turn on this right plane can I turn it on and let's make it big okay that's good 
This is important. I know it's gone. Okay. We'll go view, hide, planes. Okay. Let's turn off this mid plane now. We're done with it. We can hide it. Don't delete it. Um, so now we have the right plane. Um, we'll insert um, the LCD next. Okay. Now where's that going to go? Um, so let me tell you what's going on in my head. We're, we're going to bring all these parts in. And once we have all the parts in, we're going to design around it. Uh, this is this is all new um, to you. I feel like this is you know you're 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 learning a lot of new stuff. That's okay. Um, now let's mate. We'll mate this face to this face. Now we wouldn't do that in real life. We're going to give it a, we're going to give it a bit of space. We're going to give it one inch. Okay, a little bit of space. Okay, I'm going to mate. I feel like I want to make that face with that face, and we can always change it. And something like this. It's not going to be centered, but let's let's look at this from the very front. If this is the front of the system, okay, that's good. And there's going to be a button over here, so we'll mate that face. Now, what am I doing? Mate this face with this face and we'll go and uh, we'll make that a half an inch I'm gonna grab the LCD it doesn't move because it's fully defined okay now where's my rocker switch gonna go it's gonna go here now um, insert components um, okay buttons rocker switch oh this looks good um, Okay. Now let's let's open this rocker switch, and let's turn off all these planes. Okay. Now now we're in business. Okay, can I move this around? Yeah, I like that. Um. Okay, watch this. I want that rocker switch. Now if I open up this LCD and I have this plane, you see that plane there? Yeah, let's turn this top plane on. Okay. And let's go view, hide, sketches. Now if you're not starting to appreciate planes now, um, this is kind of why I've beaten beaten planes into you a hell of a lot because they're 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 important. Now did this guy put it in the center he did? So we're gonna get that plane, plane number three, and I'm gonna mate it with this plane, but I'm gonna flip it round. That looks good. And we pull this over here a little bit. That's in the center. Okay. I'm going to mate this face and I'm gonna click on this surface here. And but I'm gonna have to bring it out a little bit. I'm gonna bring bring it out by about a quarter of an inch. Because that's where it's probably going to sit. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. About a quarter of an inch. And let's look at this from the front. And I will drag this over. And I'll click on it. The rocker switch. I'll get this plane here. And I'm going to mate it to this face. But we're going to give it a distance. We're going to give it a distance of 0.95. That looks about right. And I'm going to go OK. Maybe we should bring it over. No, that that's good. This will do. Okay. I'm going to save my work because I'm, we're starting to get a bit deep into this, and I'm going to call this um, Tim's. We're going to put it at the base folder, and we call this Tim's practice an electronic enclosure. Okay, we have the, the PCB, we have the LCD, and we have the rocker switch in. Um, imagine, uh, we, we will assume that, this, that these microchips and all these integrated circuits are get very, very hot. And we need to uh, cool them. Now, let me show you the easiest way. We're gonna, I'm gonna sh we'll, 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 we'll worry about that too. 
but we need to put in our fans so oh look at that lovely now um i want to i want to open up this fan here the fan is not that um gray uh, it's it's kind of a darker this this is what we want right here no too much too much let's try that again um low gloss this will do it's even a bit too dark but anyway that's good where where is my hold on a second let's let's do that hold on let's open up the fan first i was just working with a part that's good the whole assembly no okay i'll save that and um okay we're going to put these over on this side we're going to have a load of slots and the sheet metal that side so um we're going to we're going to mate this face to there okay we're going to give it about a quarter of an inch 0.25 uh, is it the wrong way is that's about right yeah that's that'll do um okay now where's the center of all this action here um i'm going to click yeah let's click on this assembly and this is the face we want let's let's mate this face with that face i'm just centering it okay is that too much now we need to change that a little bit let's go back to that mate and we need to make it a bit higher so we'll have to add a distance mate and um, we'll make that 0.25 now what does that look like um, we could even make it a bit higher than that 0.35 okay and that's where that fan okay now we need to find out and we need to bring this out a little bit more so is it this mate or oh, that mate? It's this mate here. Let's make it a half an inch. Okay. All right. Um, we're going to. If this is the box, we want the air to run over the enclosure like so it'll be in that direction there that's good okay just scratch myself here all right now um okay we're gonna mate that face with here and we're gonna give it a little bit more we'll make a 0.5 and we we'll go okay um and i'm going to click on the 30 millimeter fan press Control c click here and press Control v I'm going to mate this face with that face. I'm going to make that face with that face. And we'll drag this over and it'll sit somewhere like... Somewhere like there. That's beautiful. Now what's the distance? The distance between this face and there is going to be 2.4. So this is the kind. This is a simple enough enclosure. Well, it's not really. It's pretty common actually, uh, and this is kind of what you do. And you're putting your parts kind of where you would like them, and then you're going to um, build something around it. Um, I'm going to turn off this plane here. And what's next? We're left with our connectors out the back. So we'll go um, connectors. We're going to have one DC jack. We're going to have two. We're going to have two of the rest of them. So let's start with the D subs. Okay. This is called. It's called. This is a right. This is this is a DC jack, but it's it's a, it's for a print. It's a right angle for a circuit board. This is um, a female nine pin D sub connector. Um, and this is right angled to, to and it's called true hole now what what you would do with this here is you would have to make some sort of cable that will connect it directly to this board but we're not going to get we're not going to go with those details um, the electronic engineer will know all, will decide all of these things or when you later down when your career gets going you will decide all these things you'll know better um, 
So I'm going to open up this. Um, this is kind of bothering me, but you don't need to worry about it. I'm going to open up this board, and I'm just going to delete these connectors because we. Uh, I'm going to delete the select. Can I delete the selected components? No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to click the connector and hit delete and delete the whole sub assembly, and we'll go yes. And I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to delete that sub assembly and go yes, and we'll just delete this and we'll go yes, and we'll just we will solder directly to there. But you don't have to worry about that. And we'll go yes. Okay. We're not going to mount this to that board. This is going to be mounted, and there would be a cable connecting it. So that probably doesn't make any sense at all. Now, don't crash on me. Sometimes you have to go away. Uh, I'm going to save my work now. Okay. Now, uh, let's put this over here somewhere a little bit, and um, I'm going to click on these. Um, can I hide all those? Can I hide? Um, okay. I'm going to click on that model on the left-hand side, and I'm going to press Control-C and Control-V, and I have two of them now. I'm going to put some manners on these. We'll just we'll fit mate there to there, and here to here, and let's lift it up a little bit. It'll be a little bit higher, and let's give them a little bit of a distance from there um, to there is fine. Yeah, that'll do. Now we're going to have to go back and put make that point two five. So just give yourself a little bit of space, and then grab them and see do they move as a pair, which they do. And what we will do is I think I'm going to I'm going to click on this face and mate it to there. Okay, now and then we'll pull it out, and then I'm going to mate this face. You're going to be sick and tired of mating when this project is done, um, and we will go. We'll make it point. We'll make it one. We'll make it one inch. So lots of space, um, and that's good. So that th they will just sit there for the time being. They're not going anywhere. We'll just we'll just let them kind of float there, and um, what's next? We're going to insert our USBs. Okay, uh, connectors, uh, USB. Okay, now this guy it gets connected to a little board, um, so that's going that might have to be soldered. Don't but don't worry about this. And let's turn off this um, this plane here, and we'll turn off that plane as well. Whoops! Don't do that. Come on, now, hide. No, what am I doing here? Can I click this guy? I want that. There you go. Okay. Um, and we have a USB. Um, so let's rotate it. This is kind of a real expensive USB connector. They're made in in um, Canada, and they have a seal on them. They're about they're about f nearly forty, maybe may no. They're about twenty dollars a piece, which is a for is a fortune for a cable. Um, we're just going to use one of them. We will use one. Um, and what we will do is. Is let's click on this guy and let's open up. Um, now you can see that this is Cyrillic, so th it's from a Russian, a Russian um, designer. So what it look, it's good. We will use it, um, and um, I'm just going to mate it to this face here, this top face, and um, I'm going to mate this face with this face. Now hopefully you're not too confused. Now is that right? You can see the wall is going to be somewhere along here, somewhere. Okay. You get one. Unfortunately, you're only getting one USB. Um, it'll do. Um, now what's next? You can put two in later. Two. You can put two in if you want to, but I, I, I would just stay with me. Now a BNC. Um, I'm going to put in two of these, and we'll hold down the pin, and we're going to put one there. Come on now, and one there, and we'll do the same with these. We will. Um, I'm going to rotate them. And there, and I'm going to mate this face with that, and this face with that. Okay, and we will mate this face with this. No, don't do that. Hold on a second. 
Now let me think about this for a second. Um, yeah, these guys, this is where the wall of the enclosure is going to be. So yeah, we want this to touch up against the wall as well. Um, okay. Now is that okay? Um, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna click. Is this? Do these guys? If I move that up and down, it does. Okay. Let's give them a little bit of distance between them. Let's go from there to there, and we're gonna make that a half an inch. Too much. Too much. Yeah, way too much. Let's make it a quarter. That's about right. And um, I'm where you're pretty. I don't know if you're asking yourself where are you getting all these numbers from. I'm just. This is what a designer would do. You, this is how you would design. You would kind of say, oh, I like those connectors there. I'm going to have two of them. Let's give them enough space. Let's center everything. Um, I got those. Now, what am I going to make that? I'm going to make it to the center plane of that connector. So where is that connector? I need to find that. Uh, it's this Russian right in here. Look, the reality is, is if I was doing this for a customer, I would f I would go to Amphenol Canada and I would des you would download the connector from their website. And same with all these other connectors. Um, now let's move this over here. Now is this spaced out? Okay. So now we can kind of move those in that direction. Now let's look at it from this. Let's let's hit. I'm going to hit normal too. Or can I hit? Can I look this in from the back? Yeah. So this is what I'm going to be looking at from the back. And the other thing I need is um, this could go there. That could go there. These could go there. And the only other thing I'm missing is a D a D uh, connector for the power in. So um, that's the DC jack. Now I don't know if there. Are, I have an issue with these words. I don't. I would. This could be called a DC receptacle. A jack is a little bit different. A jack is. A jack is the opposite. I, but I've heard them being interchange used interchangeably. So I don't know what to say. All right, we're going to mate um, this face with all of these. You'll notice in a second. I need to show you this. Let's get him, this DC jack. Okay, we'll mate him with the same center planes. Um, so hopefully you can see that which one it is. It's, it's, come on now, where are you going? It's not that, it's not that. It's, it's not this, it's this one there. Okay, and then I pull it over and you can see okay now we can space these out so let's look at these in the top and see if there's a line here and there's a line there if this is the if this is the center of the whole chassis really is that right is it the, it's not really the center the, the chassis is going to go from there all the way around and and so something like that so this could be moved to there this could be moved to there this could be moved to there this is good this will do the job um okay yeah, we could move this a little bit up further over. Okay. Um, now, what do you? What do I want you to notice? I want you to notice something here when we look at this from the top. Notice that that plane there. This thing is going to protrude. These guys are all going to protrude. So is that, and so is this. But the wall is going to line up with all of these lines right there. Um, if you understand this enclosure and you're going into an interview and. This is going to really help you, I think. I would, I'm sure, certain it is. Now, um, let's open up one of these. Um, we're not going to open it up. We're just going to find its plane. This is the plane we want right there. That right plane. That will do. Uh, it would be nice if, if this would cent was centered, but it's not. So we'll, we'll leave that right plane and we'll make it to here. And it moves it. But we're going to say, go back to where you are. And we're going to make it very, very close. We're going to make a 0.45. We'll give it a round number, okay? Give it a round number. Don't we don't want point four, point four five two eight. That's it's too too crazy. All right. If you don't understand Cyrillic, don't worry. This is the this is the plane that you want right there. I I can't read it either, but I can just select which one it is. It's this one. Um, and we'll do the same. Not the line. Okay, that's good. Now let's we we'll have to do it again click the connector it's that plane there take your time get the face go back and click here not 1.831 one, we'll just go with 1.82 okay now we grab them they don't move because they're fully defined and we'll do the same with this once we get all these connectors and all our parts locked down what do you think we're going to do then not that 
What's next, do you think? We're going to actually we're going to start working on the sheet metal. And we're going to think about our enclosure. What do we want it to have? Uh, um, so just let me do this last bit, and then I'm going to think think out aloud, and, uh, and this will help. Not that. There we go. Come on. There we go. Okay. And we'll make this to there, and then we we'll go back, and we we'll make a five point three, and we'll go. Okay. Let's save our work. We're done with the kind of what 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 I would call this is kind of laying stuff out. Um, you know, you can kind of move it around. So everything is laid out. Now we need to put it in a box. We're going to use a sheet metal design. And I want to. I'm going to use some punch outs. I want. To, I'm going to. We're going to use a sheet metal box. Um, that will just go around. It'll have a base flange. It's going to have. It's going to. We're going to use. I'm going to try and use a mitre flange. It's going to have. It's going to have four bends, and then we will we would weld the corners. I think that's what we will do, and then we will we will bend th the top, and that'll be that. Then we're going to have to have cutouts for everything. We're going to have to have cutouts for here, and we're going to have to have slots. And then I'd like to use a punch to punch and have kind of little feet, sheet metal feet. I'm going to save this and take a break for a minute, and then we'll get back to it. Right, I'm back. Um, so I, I was just thinking to myself, um, the students that have studied SOLIDWORKS at me, um, you, I'm going to show you something that, that is, is really shows how, how very, very useful SOLIDWORKS is. Um, we've, we've always, any time, um, this, is, this is something, this is kind of going to be very new for, for, I think, for a lot of you, but stay with it and, and, see, how, and see how this goes. But... Um, what am I trying to say? Uh, typically, I've given you something. I've always given you a drawing with dimensions, and we would have um, you would have drawn a part based on that. This is you, you don't do that in SolidWorks. The whole point of SolidWorks is to create the thing, create the drawing. Um, we're gonna, you're gonna. This is your first time being in entering the mind of a designer now for a second, and we're going to use sheet metal. So, um, we're, e even though we're in an assembly, we're going to go into a part mode, part mode within an assembly. Now what I want to do though is is um, so anyway let's see where where this is this is the deck of the of the um, uh, this is the deck of the the printed circuit board. I'm going to create an assembly. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to create a plane um, that's off of there. This what this plane is going to be is going to be that if I make this 0.25. Um, that is that how would that look that might work that this is going to be the bottom of the from there to there's point two five um yeah that would look good um yeah point two five we can always change it what this is going to be is this is going to be the bottom of the um, this is going to be the bottom of the chassis that that point two five this plane is where we're going to start and what we'll do is we're going to create instead of inserting components we're going to create a new part and here it says, where do you want to create this new part? And we're going to create it on this face. And we'll hit the space bar and I'm going to go normal too. And where's the wall going to be? The wall is going to be, um, we're going to draw a square, a rectangle, up here somewhere. No, that's useless. Let's try that again. Corner rectangle. All right. And this, and what we're going to do here is, yeah, I'm just thinking about how I'm just thinking in my head. How am I going to connect that LCD screen to the sheet metal? And I'm going to use washers or something and screws. That's the best thing. And let's look at this normal too. Now, um, yeah, I'm going to lock this this line. Okay, I'm going to click on this edge. Okay, or any of these edges. And I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to click on that edge. And what you're going to do is make that collinear. What that does though is if this, if, if I change those mates in any of these things, it's going to drive that sketch. That's going to blow your heads. I don't think that's going to make a whole lot of sense. I'm going to click on this edge and click there. Now just be remember that none of these parts can move now. They're all they've all been fixed. They're all um, they're all mated. They're all they're all they're all mated. So if I change and I move these parts around, 
the the chassis is going to the design of the chassis is going to change now I'm not going to do that to you but just I want you to think about that now where is this going to sit this guy is a snap fit now this gets pushed in and then it gets snapped in like that now I'm going to click this face that line and then I'm going to click this line and I'm going to go collinear okay and this thing is the only thing that's moving now let's give ourselves a little bit of space from there to there let's make it a quarter of an inch and notice that everything goes black okay I know your heads I, I, I have a feeling this is blowing the heads off you this is this is this is a bit crazy but that's okay we we'll, we'll go with it let me turn off this Cyrillic here it's kind of confusing me um, Okay, right. Part seven. Uh, this is going to be our our. So this is what what this is going to be our our sheet metal chassis. Part seven, and you can see this this I don't know what the hell that symbol is called, but it's it's basically a part within the assembly. But we'll deal with that later. Okay, I'm going to click here, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go um, sheet metal. So let's get our sheet metal going. And what are we going to do? We're just going to do a base flange. Now, if this thing does not need to be an eighth inch, it's going to be a good size thickness is fifty thousandths. And can I flip this? Can I flip the direction? Reverse direction. Okay. All right. Now, we're, now, believe it or not, we are in part mode at the moment. <coughs> right. Uh, so, um, I, what? What? I'll tell you what my brain is thinking. Um, we, we, you should be pretty good at edge flange. And what you can do is with a, with an edge flange. Is we could click this edge and have one there and one there and one there and one there. We could have four edge flanges. I'm going to show you an easier way. Um, so we know the base flange and we know edge flange. Hold on. We know we know the base flange and we know edge flanges. You're going to like this. We're going to use something called a miter flange. Now, make sure that we are in part mode. If you exit this and and you see assembly layout. You're, we are in assembly mode right now. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to go back to open. No, I'm going to go, not open. If I open this part, it's just going to open up the part like this, which is useless. Just go no. Keep changes in assembly. Don't go too crazy. We'll right click here. I'm going to click on edit part. And now I'm back. Now I see features. I'm in part mode now. I'm on this part's mode. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is we're going to use a flange, a miter flange. I'm going to click right here, and it says it says select a plane. You need to select one this one right here or that, but not the top one. I click this face, and what happens? It opens up a sketch. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to get that lock onto that very very point. I'm going to come up vertical, and then I'm going to come over. Now let's look at this from the front here for a second. That's good. This this is good enough. Um, now what 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 is this? You'll you'll see what this does now in two seconds. I'm gonna make that one point six. So we need a little bit of room. I'm gonna give us um point two five of a, a lip. Now watch this, you're gonna like this. I'm gonna exit out of the sketch. And it does nothing. We're gonna change this default radius bull. And we're going to make this 0 0.03. Alright. I'm going to click these edges. Bang. 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 Alright. Good stuff. And we're going to just look at this from the side here. And you can see the sheet metal that kind of looks what I want. Is that right? Or is it going straight through? You can see here the sheet metal is dry is driving straight through my piece of my BNC. We, we, it would work just fine. But look, we can change it a little bit. Let's see here as well. Is that what I want? Um, I have it the way I want it. I, can all, I, I, I definitely don't want this inside. This is not what I want. You, s you can definitely see that. It, it interferes with the part. What you're going to do is you're going to bend it out. You're going to put it past it, which is good. This will do. Um, and we have loads of room. Okay, and we're gonna go. Okay, what does it do? 
it creates a nice 45 degrees. Now you're saying, ah, but this is good, Tim, but water's going to come straight in there, or, you know, uh, this is not going to work. What, what you do is you bend up the four of them, and then what they'll do is they'll run a TIG welder just down there, and they'll just, they'll just fill that in. They'll just weld those corners real easy. Okay? So I like it. This is good. Um, right, what do we have next? The next thing I want to do is I'm going to have some sort of a push. I want four little feet. Um, now, I'm going to I'm going to right click on the I'm going to save our work. And it says this assembly contains an unsaved virtual components which must be What is what are they talking about? They're talking about our part number 7. We're going to say save externally. And I'm going to call this Come on now. I I just click on it. Come on. Um sheet metal enclosure. And I'll go okay. Um, and that's that. Okay, so I'm going to open this part up, and and we're going to use some sort of a punch. Now let's have a look here. Fold, unfold, a rip. That's not what we want. Um, a forming tool. Now, um, a forming tool, a form tool, a stopping face, insert point. If I, stopping face. Okay, what we'll do. I I. I don't know if this is going to work for us, so I'm going to give it a go. You'll see what I want. Um, we're going to push and we're going to create little... Um, we're going to create little feet. Four little feet. And we're going to use a circle to do it. That's all we need. I'm going to have to create a form tool, I think. And this bloody thing is, f is starting to freeze on me. So hold on a second. Um, let's give it the information that, we, that it needs. Give it a second. Okay. Well, it, it seems to have an issue with, with reference. To when I try and... There we go. Um, we'll just make it point one two five, an eighth of an inch away. Um, now, do I have a form tool? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into design library. Yeah, this is good. Go ahead with that. Design library, forming tools. Blocks. Um, what's going on? Uh, Wellman's nah. What happened there? Design library. Forming tools. Uh, extruded flanges, lances, louvers, ribs, and bosses is what we want. And boss flanges, a louver. I think what we want is just an emboss. Can I drag this out? No. Right click. Um, do we not have any any of these things in here? Routing valves. Um, hmm. This is what we want. We want an emboss. We want an extruded flange, if you like, and it's not here. Uh, add existing folder. I don't know if I have one. Um, I think what the problem is, is I don't think SolidWorks knows where my forming tools are. I'm going to have to pause this for a second. Okay, I, I know what I'm doing now, so um, I just need to... You might run into the same problems that I did. Um, you probably don't know... You're going, you're going, this is something new. If you, 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 won't, you won't have seen this before, so let, let me just show what I'm trying to do. Um, if I go into um, uh, the design library, um, in here, you, if, if, if it works, you're going to see design library forming tools and you have these embosses let me just show you what it does when it works it's too big but we can make it smaller so don't worry i'll drag this in to the sheet metal part i'm just going to go okay and what it does is a large press will come down and it'll punch that out and it will give you this nice divot okay now they're massive feet we're, we're going to make it smaller but so don't worry now let's just delete that for a second i had to do two things to get this thing to work uh, for whatever reason, um, my design library in SOLIDWORKS was not installed properly. Um, the design library is, is um, where is it? It's in C program data, SOLIDWORKS, SOLIDWORKS 2016, and you have a folder called design library. You need to find out where that is if you're having problems. And then you go 
to um, tools. Um, come on, it'll be at that shit. Where was that? Tools, options, um, file locations. Now you you definitely know document templates, but you have. Is there a place called Design Library? Design Library. I had to add this extra folder in. It still didn't work. I click here, and now I've but I see SolidWorks 2016. You need to right-click on Forming Tools and check this Forming Tools folder. Then it will work. Now watch this. We're gonna we're gonna right-click here. We're gonna open this Circular Emboss, and then I'm gonna go File Save As, and I'm gonna call Circular Emboss Small. We're gonna we're gonna create a smaller one. And I'm going to click save and I'm going to open this up and I'm going to make this a bit smaller. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at here, but I'm going to, this is too big. Is it going to let me save it? Now, where, where is my edit sketch? Come on now. Well, why won't it let me do anything with it? Um, I haven't got a clue what I'm looking at here. What? Why did? What does this have to do with anything? Um, anyway, um, let's open this back up and let's let's look again. We have a circular embossed small. Is this going to work? It's massive. Um, circular embossed. This is nice, but it's going to put a hole. I would think. Yeah. See, it cuts it right through. Which is not what we want. Um, a draft re rectangular embossed. That will do the job. This might work, but it might push it all the way through. Oh, that looks good. Oh, I like it. This is perfect. And it just raises it up. It's a little bit high. A bit too high. Whew. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, it's a bit. It's a bit mad looking. All right, we'll 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 um, rotate it ninety degrees, and we'll give it a position. Is it going to let me put in a dimension or anything? Um, from the edge, maybe. From there to there, uh, we'll make it one point two five, and then from that face to there. Come on, no. This is good, we'll make it 1.25 as well. Okay. Um, even if it's a bit ugly, um, we'll go, can we put in another one? If I hit a point, will that put two of them in? Oh, look at that. Makes it easy for you. Okay. Um, I don't go crazy, I didn't. Okay, it seems to be moving a, a, a very fast, but we'll try that again. Um, I don't know, that's ugly. I'm not feeling it. Um, I like it. It's it's the right size, but it's just horrible looking. Um, a circular emboss, a dimple. What what about this? That might do the job. I don't want it to be very high. Yeah, that works. I can handle that. Um, that's a bit better. And it will just sit. Okay, good. Um, all right, we'll go right here, and I'm gonna. Can I? Can I edit the feature? Uh, let's hit normal two. Let's give it position. Okay. Um, we go one, two, three. Um, now. I'm pressing escape and it's going nuts. Why? I'm okay. Okay, let's try it again. Let's stop pressing escape. Let's hit position. Let's. I'm not. I, I'm not going to press escape. Okay. I'm done with the. I'm done with that. So let's click on that to stop doing it. Um, let's put some dimensions in from there. Uh, that'll do. We make it one point two five. 1.25 okay um, 
I don't want to press escape. Um, I'm going to hold there to there. Can I can I um, make them vertical? Click elsewhere. Don't press escape. It seems to act very strange. Horizontal from there to there. We'll make it vertical. Sucks not. Come on now. I want to get out of that command. Okay. Right click, delete. That is a bit of a, a bug uh, SolidWorks has got going on there. From there to there, we make it 1.25. Okay. So from there to there, it's the same. Don't press escape. Don't press escape. Um, we'll just press enter. It's okay. Um, okay, that seemed to work that time. I could press escape to get out. Okay, here is 1.25. Come on now. 1.25. This guy and this will make it. Come on. This and this. We'll make it horizontal and um, so from there to there, 1.25, 1.25, okay, tedious stuff, um, let's go okay, and we'll punch those out and we've got nice little feet, that was a pain, okay, let's save it now and let's go back to here. Um, that's not going to work because we have holes and we got that. There's no way that's going to work. What a waste. Uh, it's good practice for you. Let's right click. Let's open this. Let's delete those horrible dimples. It's not going to work. Um, so it's just going to, we'll, we'll, you'll make feet for it later. Okay. Um, yeah, that's not going to work because we need standoffs to mount them to mount there, to, to mount the PCB to the bottom. Okay. Um, right. What else do we need? Um, Right, um, I'm starting to get a bit hungry here, so my, my um, I, I, you know, I start losing the run of my head, to be quite honest with you. Um, so we're in pretty good shape. I'm going to keep plugging along. Um, we could use, the, I, I'm sorry, that we, we couldn't use those um, embosses, if that's the right word. Um, they're, they're nice, you know, it, 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 it's like a punch tool that will punch the feet, but it's just, it's, we need that real estate there around those holes. Um, they're mounting holes and we're going to use something called a standoff. Um, the next thing we will do is uh, we're going to have to start creating cutouts for a lot of these shapes. And, I'm, and I'll show you how to do it. Um, let's start with something easy. I'm going to right click here and I'm going to go edit part. And I'm going to create a sketch on this face. And I'm going to go normal too. Now hopefully you realise, what? hopefully you realise we're going to get us, we're going to get a slot. That's what we, we need. And we're just going to put it somewhere like this. Okay. And we'll make the the radius of it 0 0.0625. Something, no, it's a bit small. Uh, 0.075. Okay, is that a bit too small still? No, that should be fine. 0.075. You can always change it. And we'll put a dimension in from there to, to there. And we'll make it 0.75. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And we'll go from there to the center. Uh, let's try that again. It's been a right pain. We'll go from here. Come on now. To that line. Yeah. Um, we'll make that 0.25. And then what's the length of this? We'll make this 1.25. Okay. Let's make it a bit smaller. We'll, we'll make it 1.2. Okay. Um, so use some common sense there, or, or you can use what I'm using, and we'll exit the sketch, we'll extrude cut, and we'll go up to next, alright, and we have one slot, it's a little bit long, but I'm, I'm going to go back and fix that, um, and here, I'm going to click here, 
and go even though we're in assembly mode we're working kind of in a part mode at the moment and I click this line and that's a bit much now we go 0.25 and we don't need that many the only issue with that is, is it might weaken nah it wouldn't weaken it I don't think it's a we could probably make them um, let's make them fewer and give them a slightly 0.35 that's good. Something like that. And we have night we have a load of slots there and uh, it'll have lots of strength and it will allow some good cooling to happen. So what do the what do the fans do? They basically create an area of high pressure in here that pushes through the grill. So you're going to have a, 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 a the fan will be blowing in this direction. It will be just taking that hot air and blowing it through the fans, through through the grills. All right, that's that. Now, um watch this. We're going to click these two and that and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go isolate and don't worry everything hasn't been deleted um, we're going to create a sketch on here and I'm going to turn on the hidden lines I'm showing you some serious tricks here uh, I'm, I hope I don't regret it and you start taking work away from me and I'm going to go convert entities and I'm going to click on that face and click on that face and I'm going to go okay now that's not what I want, but anyway, then this is good. Um, we'll go normal two, and I'm going to get a circle going. I'll just do that. And I'll get another circle going. And I'll just do that. Okay. Now, but I don't want people to be able to put their finger in there, which they kind of will. Um, but we don't want to impede the fan. So let's have a look and see if I take these guys out this no nah, we're gonna need a little bit more than that okay that's that sketch there okay we'll exit out of this um, we'll turn on the lines and I'm gonna open this up in its own part because it's just an, a little bit easier to see what's going on and we have this the sketch and I'm gonna go normal too why is it all black when it doesn't have any dimensions? It's all black because it's fully defined because it has a relationship back to those original fans. And that's probably blowing the head off, you know, a little bit. Um, but uh, now if I cut this, okay, we could do this though. Um, I'm just gonna delete that, those lines and delete those lines and delete those lines and delete those lines and I can have a few more of these. Um, now if I go and I do a circular sketch pattern entities the pattern is this and this and the point of rotation is going to be this point we can have a few more and that will have less chance of somebody putting their fingers in I think that's good there now 11, I'll just make it 12 only issue it's going to impede that fan a little bit now if I make, if I grab this Yeah, that's it's too much. Let's do it again, but let's have a few a few la look we're not gonna make this design so look don't worry. Um I could have just left it the way it was. So all you're doing is you're just let's let's give it a bit more. That's 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 good. If they put their fingers in it's their own problem. Um I'll drag this and put this back in. Okay and um, what are we going to do we're going to have to extend this there we go and extend that and we'll go normal to and I'm just going to delete this bit of it away I'll delete that bit of it away I'll delete that now if I delete that I'm going to lose that as well so I'm just going to put a point in look we'll just we'll just do this we'll copy this move entities copy entities all of this stuff here from there and we bring it all the way over and I'm just gonna go okay and I'm gonna go extrude and what are we gonna cut through this 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 and we'll do the same over here and we'll go okay bit ugly um, let's save it 
and let's close it back and let's have a look um, and that will work uh, that will do the job okay um, you know somebody somebody might put their finger in there and, and get it hit a little bit but it'll be fine it's only sting a little bit um, what else do we want to do we want to um, we want to access those four points so hold on we click there there and this we'll go isolate I'm going to edit this again edit the part um, I'm going to create a sketch on here keep looking now and watch this convert entities watch this we get all these circles seems like a big hole but um yeah it'll do it'll have to do it'll be fine um we'll go extrude cut and what will i do i'll do the same i'll go up to next and go okay okay and now we've mounting holes we'll have some bolts going through there exit isolate and we'll turn on the colors we'll have we'll have some bolt holes going through there They're, those holes are a little bit big but that it does the job um, so that's that side. Now we'll flip. We'll do the front side. So what are we doing? We go, click the this that and that. Right click, isolate. Um, turn on the hidden lines so we can see what's behind it. Now where ah uh, yeah, what's happening here is I'm just isolating the. I'm missing the LCD portion. Okay, so let's turn on the lines. We'll do it again. Um, I need to select the hold LCD. I need to select that and that right click isolate I go to here and I'll go this so let's create a sketch a right click here edit the part um, we will create a sketch on here and we will convert we'll get these holes first no we can do them all at once we'll do the holes and go convert to entities we'll okay and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna put a box in here a rectangle that's just around that and we're going to get some little fillets because it's pr it's a little bit ugly now um i'm going to just get we're going to give ourselves a little bit of space a bit of clearance from there to there it's going to be 0 0.02 and from there to there 0 0.02 that's called forgiveness we need a little bit of play from there to there 0 0.02 and down the bottom as well I can tell you right now, I'm starving. I need food, but I'll be fine. I'll survive. Point zero five on a fillet. Now we'll make it a bit. No, that that'll do. That'll do. And same here. I'm gonna have my dinner at six thirty. All right, that's that. Um, and we're gonna do the same with this rocker switch. The r okay. Watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself a tiny bit of a clearance. Do you see this this dotted line? Now be careful before you create a relation that you don't want to put in. This dotted line is the housing of the rocker switch. What happens is it gets pressed in and then it clips in to place. It has this clip here. Okay, do you see that? There and there you push it through the the the, um, the panel and then it locks into place. You gotta give it a little bit of space though. Okay? Telling you too much. Point zero two. What you can do is you can find the part number of the rocker switch, and it will give you the panel uh, dimensions right right off the bat, um, and it will tell you exactly what they need to be. It's going to be it's going to be quite small. So anyway, there's twenty uh, twenty thousands, and look, um, we go we we go to features, extrude cut, up to next. Alright, we turn it on here, and that looks good. A little bit too much, a little bit too much play. Um, you can kind of see the board. Um, the reality is this, is all, this will all be dark, it'll be black inside, and you won't, it won't come out. Um, but that's it, that, that's basically how it works. Um, now we're going to have bolts that go through there, through little spacers, and we're going to have little nuts. Um, so that'll be a good hardware exercise. Um, I'm going to do that later. But let's get all the holes cut out, and if I have time for hardware tonight, I'll do the hardware. Tomorrow we will do the drawing. Exit isolate. Okay. The other thing we need to do is um, 
we need to have holes in here so I'll edit <gasps> well, I'll, I'll click here I'm gonna go sketch now how many mounting holes do we have we have four mounting holes and I'll do the same convert entities one two no no come on in three two three four ah stop I'm actually trying to hit it there we go and it, what happens is it gets projected all the way down I exit out of here uh, this is going to make a lot more I think if you're confused it, I'm sorry but I think it's going to make sense when we start putting in hardware and things now look around here now I've got holes here I need to turn them into countersinks because I don't want to have a screw head this is going to be a countersink or a flat head that's coming up through there they will bolt in now um, the last thing are the connectors which are a bit of a pain so we go one two let's get out of here first um, one two uh, three four come on let's get them all on this and we go isolate isolate is a nice function okay um, we're gonna edit here edit edit part create a sketch normal to turn on the, 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 the dash lines and what you're going to do is you're going to we're going to use the convert entities we're going to pick this edge right here this is the, the f ex extremity of the the fillet whenever you have el electronic connectors if you go to their, d their data sheet it will tell you exactly the dimensions of um, it'll tell you what the the panel cutout is that's the word you're looking for but I'm doing all the work for you okay there's that and we're going to do the same I'm going to click offset entities if I click here can I click one edge no I'm just going to convert these entities as well come on now the reality is you would give yourself a tiny bit of play and I need the two circles because they're the mounting holes so we'll move on the hole I want here is I'm gonna pick that one there and that one there and I feel like this one here and I'm gonna go convert entities and I'm gonna exit out of all of this I'm gonna um, no let's not exit isolate let's go to extrude cut um, let's go to selected contours hold on we're gonna we're gonna go this now I don't know what's happening here let's exit isolate for a second let's get out of here let's turn on the lines and let's open this up itself and now we have all this information we just projected on all of all of this sketch information I click the sketch I go to extrude and cut and that's the I know what the problem is okay we'll delete this and can I get this inside there we go and we'll go up to next bang we just cut that out the thing that you're probably not appreciating is is um, now why is that sticking out there like that so this okay this might be the wrong this is good we need to make we need to have the we pick the wrong hole here was this is going to interfere um, this goes butt up against that face we need to pick for this we need to pick this big hole now this guy is a little bit too tight around there so there's no is there any clearance here let's have a look there's no clearance anywhere okay we need to fix all that uh, they go all the way through which is good but you'd be, you'd be doing a lot of filing the thing that's, that's probably lost in you is you're probably saying where where are all the dimensions in that sketch n we don't need dimensions the position of the connectors is dictating the cutouts so if we change the mates of all these connectors the sketch will follow I don't know if that if that's lost in you if that makes sense now watch this I'm gonna highlight this and I'm gonna go for construction and I'm gonna do the same here for construction and I'm gonna go offset entities and I'll try and see can you do the whole chain that sucks anyway um, and I will make it 0.02 it doesn't seem to do a good job of that sometimes 0.01 now if I do have to select all of it yeah you do it dumbass again 
Oh yeah, it's all right. And we'll do the same. We'll do the same down here. Okay, and I'm going to do the same here. That, that was nice. That did it the whole time. I'm going to go okay with that. Um, and I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to offset. Make this a bit bigger. Too much. 0 0.03. Too, not enough. 0 0.04. Come on now. 0 0.04. No, we need more. Why is that so small? 0 0.05. That'll do. We'll do the same here. Um, come on now, 0 0.05. I don't know why that's blue. Um, this is good. We might have to make that a little bit bigger. Um, offset. Too much. 0 0.02 will do. Um, why is this blue? Why are these guys blue? All blue. If I grab them, do I need to put a dimension on them? I do. Um, so from, so from there to there. It's 0.01 it's saying, okay, and it goes black. Okay, this seems a bit small. That's probably the same offset. From there to there is 0.05, that's good, that goes black. So from there to there is 0.05. Okay, let's exit out of this. And let's have a look at it now. And it rebuilds. Now why is this... Okay, we've got to go back to our cut extrude though, and we've got to, see, we've got to go back to our contours, and that, come on, look, this, if you, if you have a hard time seeing what's going on, we'll just exit, we'll just open up the part itself, and then we go to ex cut extrude, and we, we select the region, okay, that's good, and that's good, we want this region as well, and that region as well and that's it now we have some clearance uh, we'll save it now we're missing one thing though we are missing one thing um, and now we have some clearance and we have holes does this have clearance this doesn't have any clearance at all um, can I grab this why does it not have any clearance Is that was that not being extruded? Maybe. I think I better quit um, this lesson while I'm ahead. Um, yeah, I don't think it was getting that either. Okay. And now we have some um, space there around that connector. Um, this connector is held on to the chassis by two screws that that the tighten into here. This these connectors are held on to the chassis by four screws that go through it and that will thread into this this is a 440 thread typically um, so we need to do a few more holes we add we have to add um, um, some hardware I think I've done enough for tonight we need to add loads of screws and standoffs and things um, we're going to put some holes in here uh, mounting holes for the lid um, but that's it you know this is um, this is a good job so uh, let's save it I'm back. Um, let's let's keep working on this um, electronic enclosure. I've had a, a night to to sleep on it, and um, yeah, I'm I'm you know pretty happy. But what 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 are we what are the next steps? I want to move this switch over there. You know, um, you know sheet metal enclosures they're, they're they can be ugly, um, but you know um, they're they're typically used for industrial equipment. And when you do use the sheet metal and and there's things you can do to kind of improve the aesthetics of it you can put bumpers on it corner bumpers and things but we're not going to do that look let's move this switch over a little bit there it's kind of it needs it shouldn't be so it should be over here a little bit i'm going to put some fillets on our um fan grills we also have to um uh, add some holes for the d subs and our two bnc's and then I think that should be it. Um, and then we'll start adding standoffs and screws and hardware. Um, we will, um, I'll probably put some holes in here for the lid. And 
and I think that's about it. Um, if I'm in the mood, I'll put some feet in for a McMaster car. We get some McMaster car feet. I don't know if there's anything else we can do, but let's let's just start with that. Um, so uh, we want to move this over. Um, so let's how do we do it? Let's find out. Let's click on the part rocker sw switch, and uh, it's this. This is the mate we want to do. So I'm going to edit that mate. Let's make this 0.5. Now, do you think this this uh, it does it already? Right, it, it, the the because I've moved the part, um, the cutout did it move with it better? Um, yeah, the cutout moves with it. Okay, so how do we check? I'll turn this off, and there it is. The cutout moves with it. Okay, um, let's open this up, and. Um, now what happened there to that base flange? Why are we getting a little error there? We'll have to... What's going on? That's interesting. Um, okay, hold on. We'll have to fix that. That's okay. Now let me just think about this for one second. Is if I rebuild it here, is it going to is it going to go crazy? Yeah, it's this base flange is having issues. Um, Okay, I'm going to click these two and that, and we'll go isolate. Let's go back to this base flange. Hmm. It's that time of year again. The spring is coming, and I have a bloody red cardinal uh, battering up against my window. So I kind of thought he had uh, disappeared, but he's back. I'm looking at him now. With the, uh, there, I'm not going to say anything. Anyway, so uh, what I need to be careful. I need to slow down and explain what's going on here. Um, let me just. I'm gonna have to pause this and, and, and hit this and see if I can shoot this bird away. Right. Um, so what what happened there? Um, what was the issue? The issue was this line here is we call it dangling. It it it's lost its reference. I don't know what I had, must have done something. And what I did is I just I just um, I just I just kind of. Um, reassigned it back to the to the side of the fan okay that's what we wanted and I'll just rebuild it um, and it'll be fine um, you don't really want lots of errors and warnings in your parts um, if you know if someone else who knows SOLIDWORKS looks over your shoulder and you got lots of errors here it it, it, it kind of means you don't really it kind of kind of means it doesn't really know what you're doing a little bit to be quite honest so anyway, I'll open up this um, uh, this sheet metal and um, let's see if we can find it. There, here we go. And let's grab the sketch. I think it would be quicker to um, to do the fillet here. Uh, let's make a point one two five. Will let me do it. Um, I'm going to have to trim everything, aren't I? Um, I'd have to trim it first. Which is okay, we'll do it. I know, and hopefully some of you are thinking this, but why isn't Tim um, putting dimensions on, on all those lines there? It's, it's undefined. That should be bothering you. I know that it's going to work. Um, it's I'm just being lazy, to be honest, uh, and it's bad form. Um, you know, make this defined. Put some. Well, how can I make this defined? Um, yeah, I, what you do is you'd have to use your convert entities base on the second fan. I know this is going to work. I'm going to leave it. Um, it's going to be okay. That's too much. Um, I need to make this point zero five then. This is going to be a lot quicker than doing this at the feature level. I'm just going around here and just applying all these fillets. It look, it's going to look a lot better. Okay. 
Right, that's it. We'll go OK. Come on now. Um, we we'll rebuild it. Lots of too many fillets. Look at that. Or too many too many um, relations. That looks a lot better. Um, okay, we'll swing around the back. I'm going to save this now. So we're in part mode. I'm going to go back to um, to uh, the assembly. We'll exit isolate, and now we have all the parts. Um, so what do we do? We're missing some holes. Um, I'm going to check something. I I know these are four forties. Um, here I can even just take a measurement of it and it's 0.1 yeah now what about this though I feel like this is a bit bigger um, so this is 0.13 now what uh, in a D sub I need to find it what is that hole there what size of a hole is that um, okay now um, let's have a look at something here for a second so we'll say B N C uh, connector thread size and it's going to say 440, so don't worry. Um, but we'll check. Flange, that's what we want. We want flange thread size. Watch this here, okay? Um, give me one second here now. I, um, I'm, why am I having a hard time finding this? Um, BNC connector flange tread size. Come on now. Um, is it, I'm going to type in 440 to see if it comes up. See if we can find a BNC here. Um, I don't, it's not that big. Here we go. Connect our flanges, and it's a square. Does it say four forty one? Look, you're just going to have to trust me. This, these holes here in this type of connector are already threaded, and they're four forty. Now, these we need. I'll find that out. Now that's a D sub. Um, D sub. And what do we use? We use a standoff. Um, now let's see, D sub standoff. Now what size? They're saying 440 as well. Okay, good. I can handle that. Int okay, so that would be a 440 there as well. All right. Um, <coughs> so what will we do? Uh, I'm going to right click, edit part. Um, no, hold on. Let's back off here for one second. Let's click this, this 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 and this just these guys and we'll go isolate I'll turn on um, hidden lines and now we can kind of see what's going on behind the, the face we'll right click here edit part um, I'm going to go to um, hole wizard and we're going to go for a true hole it's going to be for a, no a size number four a, a, um, no, hold on uh, a, a clearance hole screw clearances size number four positions we're just going to lock on to these guys okay so th there's those four and here come on now two Now, uh, I, I, this might be, you know, I don't, maybe this is easy or maybe it's hard. I'm not quite sure what's going on in your heads. But um, 
you're probably to say to yourself, well, where's all the dimensions here? Like, why? You, what, he's using a sketch, but why isn't he putting dimensions anywhere? I don't need them because it's they're, they're, the, the location is defined by these connectors and those circles. And there's a, there's a lot of that in SolidWorks. Do you know, that's really how it's done. Um, you know, I wouldn't put hard dimensions on there because the connector might move somewhere. But there we go. Now, I, there we go. That's it. Um, this is... Um, you're going to have a little bit of a break. This is a little bit... We don't have enough meat here. Um, I want to I want to go back to this um, uh, this cutout and make it a little bit smaller. Is it this one here? Let's tighten that one up a little bit. Or we I, I'm just afraid that's going to break through there. I'm going to make this 0 0.04. That's good. That will do. Okay. And now that's that's a little bit. We have a bit more meat there. Look, we're not. I have to keep on. I, I have to remind myself we're not making this design so. But it's good. It's good for you to know all this. Um. What else are we missing now? What's going on there with those holes? We, they went all the way through. Um, okay, let's open this up. Let's go to clearance hole. Um, not through all, we'll just go up to next. We'll go okay. And we'll save it. Let me just turn off this. This I don't think we need that sketch there. That was I was trying something else beforehand. So let's, we'll just save that. Um, and that's it. That that that's the the the, the, the thing to all of the holes. Now, what are we missing here? We're missing. Um, what what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some holes for um, some pin nuts. Um, now, I ca if I drill this and I want to thread a hole in this sheet metal, it's not going to be thick enough. So we're going to use we're going to use some pin nuts for that. Um, and you'll see what they do now in a sec. Okay. Um, so what what do we want? Um, let's go to Mac Master Car. It's P E M, Pem Pim. I call them Pim, but Pem style nuts. Um, this is what we want here. You press into thin panels with an installation tool or arbor press. Installation requires access to both sides of the panel. Now, that might be a bit of a pain, but um. So what this it does, it just provides a thread that can be pressed into sheet metal. Now we want a 440. And for soft metals and plastics, for sheet metal, here you go, 440. Uh, for minimum thi panel thickness, what did we have? What is our, our thickness here? That's 50,000. It's quite thick. Um, okay. For minimum pa panel thickness. Okay, here we go. We're going to use this one right here in the part number 95185A125. We'll click here, click on, on the, this, we'll download it, and let's just have a look at it. It says here, mount 0 0.166 diameter mounting hole required. That's This is the stuff you need to pay attention to. Now, in here, um, we're going to go to um, right click, folder, hardware. I don't believe that. Put this in harder. Okay. We we'll close this down. Now uh let's open this up and um look at this from the top. No, it's not gonna let me do it. Okay, I click this face, look at it from the top, create a sketch, and what we will do is how many holes you'll have? One Two, three, four. Okay. Um. What is it? It's dia. It's it's um. Do you remember? Point one six six. Big enough. Um. Quite large. Um. Mm, that, I wonder will that work. We'll see. It's going to be a bit close. Um, point one. No, that's not going to be good enough. Um, do you see the fact that this bends around? That sucks. Um, to get that pin nut in. What? What are we going to do? We're going to have to make. We're going to have to extend. 
you see, uh, we're going to have to extend that flange. So hopefully some of you were already thinking that. We'll have to extend that flange a little bit more. We're going to make this 0.3125. Now we're laughing. It's good. That's what design. Let's see. You can. This is what a designer is all about. You can change it. Um, okay. We'll make this 0.125. That that's plenty. We could even make it a bit more. 0.14. And uh, now we've got loads of space there. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be lazy, and I'm just going to lock it into this guy right there. And we'll make this and this uh, vertical. And we'll just go, look, let's make them all the same. Make them all equal. And we'll go from there to there. 3.75. And um, let's put in a center line. Point one four. And I'm gonna let's do this. We make this and this guy horizontal, and this and this and this symmetrical. And what do we do? We go like you to you. Let's make that four. Okay. Probably too many holes. You know, we're just putting on a sheet metal lid. It, it you you would need maybe. A couple in the corners, one, two, three, four. But well, this is okay. Um, we'll mirror these guys. Crop. Ah, no. Interesting. Um, that's good. Okay, so this isn't going to work for us right here. Let's get another um, center line. All right, we'll make this symmetrical, and then let's go back and try that again. Mirror. That looks good, and we're going to need another one. Uh, center line, and we'll do the same. We'll mirror. Go. Okay. Save it. Um, extrude a cut. It's going to go up to next. Am I right? Now this, this, um, the, yeah. Anyone, anyone who typically uh, does sheet metal will install pin nuts as well. That's that's that'd be very. They, that, that's nothing to them. They would they would do that. They would act. They would actually install the pin nuts in the enclosure. So here we are. What do we need to do? We're going to go insert components. Um, hardware. There's your pin nut. And let's have a look at it. Uh, let's try that again. You have these little, this hard, this nur I don't know if the right word is knurled surface, but that's your gripping surface. So where does this go? It goes like this. So I, I would guess in this type of installation, they would install the pin nuts first. Um, and then, let me see, this, this, we might, this mightn't be thick enough. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think this is going to be thick enough. Watch this. It's going to stick out a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't really want that. This is not going to work. That pin nut is going to be too thick. So let's go back and let's read McMaster car a little bit more closely. And some of you probably picked this up already. So th the thickness of this sheet metal is 50 thousandths. We need something close to, f or we need to change the thickness of this. Um, for For zinc plated steel it's not really zinc what easy align for sheet metal 440 and it's say what is that saying go ahead um, for minimum panel thickness now why wouldn't why wouldn't this work if we say if the minimum for minimum thickness is it needs to be at least 40 thousands ours is 50 thousands that should work just fine so we'll just go with this now 95185A120 be a good come on now 120 now why why isn't that just 
Just give it a second. Oh, God. Oh. So we're gonna we'll find out the right pin nut. We're gonna install it. We'll do that now. Okay. Um, yeah, a press in nut for sheet metal. Um, we're not doing stainless steel. Um, for zinc plated steel, yeah, we'll go with that 440, and it, it needs to be at least 0 0.04 951.85A120. Product detail. Oh, the floor. We'll we'll save it. Our our diameter hole is the same size, so happy days. Come on now. Okay. Let's put it in here. Let's put it in our hardware directory. Look, delete the 125 if it won't let you it's already it won't let you do it. Okay. So we need the A120. Insert components. 120. I'm gonna hit this pin because I know this is gonna work. One and I'm just gonna put them right beside where they go. Look, let's. I know th this is tedious, but you know this is what you're going to be doing. Just exactly this, just enclosures, just something very similar. <sighs> just the other thing, it's worth mentioning that if you wanted to design something, or let's say you actually, if you went and got these parts. And you bought them. Here you're talking about maybe 50 bucks, and you somehow got this circuit board. I have no idea where it comes from, um, or where you would get it. You could you could make the sheet metal based on the dimensions we're using, and it it should work. There should be no issues. Um, okay, there you go. That's just fine. I'm just using that edge there. I typically would rather use a face, um, but it's too much of a pain to get in there underneath. But th the edge will work. If I grab that, it, it, it's it's in place where I need it to be. Um, what else? We get the last, get a couple more of these in. Did I get that the wrong way? Yeah, I think I did. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So you know what to do. I'm just gonna just I'm gonna give me another minute and I'll be done with this and we'll move on to the hardware, the other hardware, the screws and things. I, yeah, I'd love to know is there an equivalent um you know in the United States we have McMaster car for a lot of this mechanical hardware stuff, what what, is, what do the other countries use? Is there is there maybe is there somebody out there that can that knows what is the equivalent in in um, the, the in, in Europe and Asia? Is there is there such a thing? There, I'm guessing there has to be. 
um, where you can download the parts and and it's just fantastic for engineering <coughs> so excuse me right we've got all the pim nuts in and um, right what's the next thing we'll do we'll, we'll worry about getting um, the circuit board in place now our four mounting holes are these cor four corners and if I take a measurement of the hole I'm getting 0 0.13 so <coughs> a 440 screw will hold that in just fine now the distance from there to there is a quarter of an inch now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a screw that comes up from the bottom that hits a standoff that comes up through there and then we're going to have a, a, a nuts to hold it in place so now let's get a standoff and we're going to get um, we're going to get a female to male threaded standoff and hopefully I hope hope they have uh, models of standoffs I'm not quite sure it's going to be inches the length is going to be a quarter of an inch it's Sunday morning here you'd wonder why is it even Sunday morning but yeah you'd wonder why some why this is so slow who's using it so we've got the pim nuts in what's next we we'll get the board in then we'll get the LCD and then we'll work our way around I'm going to turn off my internet for a second and turn it back on. Should does that help? Yeah, I'm sorry that it's so slow this morning. It's kind of a pain. <coughs> Um, a pen. Mm. There we go. You yes, slow. All right. Uh, male to female. Inch. It's going to be a lot quicker than modeling it up so you, you have keep the patience do you know um you're not going to want to model this stuff up uh, it's going to even though this is slow as hell and it's driving me a bit batty this morning um we have no choice um i wanted to show you how to use mac master car as well damn it anyway um yeah, I, I've been trying to download parts from McMaster like Car and it's just not working. Um, it, it is what it is. Um, uh, I do want to explain that McMaster Car is the best place to download hardware, the models, um, all the parts that you can buy from them. They provide you with all the models that you, SolarWorks models that you need, which is a big help for us. But um, we'll, we'll, I'm going to use my backup, which is this design library here. Which I'm not a big fan of using, but um, I'm sure other people probably prefer to use it than Mac Master Car. So um, don't worry, we, we'll use that as our backup. The only issue is we don't have standoffs in this design library. You probably don't even know what standoffs are. You will in a few minutes. Um, the backup is a company called Keystone Electronics Corp, and uh, they provide you with a model. Now we want if you if if Mac, while you're at home, if Mac Master Car is running normal normally, you want um, a male to female standoff it's going to be hex and it's going to be um, it's going to have a 440 thread and that's all we need that you'll be able to get that directly from McMaster car um, you're going to have to e give put in your email and your, they'll email your code and then you'll be able to download this step file from Keystone Corp okay so I'm going to just download this part we'll have it right there um, and we'll move this we'll put this over here and we'll put this standoff in hardware 
and I can close this down now and let's go back to SOLIDWORKS. I'm going to open up the, um, the standoff. Uh, it's a step file, you know what those are now. We don't want to run import diagnostics, we don't care about feature recognition, this is a dumb model, it will do the job. And we'll just save that right there. Now, um, let's insert the, the, stand the standoff, let's hit the, the pin, and this is what it looks like. Hold on a sec, you'll see what it does now. Keep it going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to turn off this um, chassis just for a sec. It's going to make life a bit easier, and we'll just we'll we'll highlight this conical surface. And I'm just going to put that in where it would lie. Standoffs standoffs are very useful when you're trying to mount circuit boards to um, your sheet metal. Um, now that's going to be a bit of a pain trying to get a nut in there. That's going to be an issue, um, but we'll we'll probably not be able to put a nut there, uh, and that happens. Uh, the board designer just wasn't giving us a whole lot of room, but that's 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 business as usual. Good a good electronic engineer is is very um, mindful of the mechanical side as well, but you know. Um, That wasn't a dig or anything on electronic engineers, but um, anyway. So, uh, alright, that's that. Now let's go back to, um, let's see if we can turn on our, our sheet metal enclosure. And if we look at this from the bottom, you can see there that it lines exactly up with the, the, the standoff. So how are we going to connect the standoffs to here? We're going to, there 440, we're going to, I'm going to right click on this, I'm going to edit the part. And let's go look at this normal too. And we're going to go whole wizard. And we're going to do a countersink. And I'm going to use 100 degrees because it's sheet metal. Um, it's going to be for number four. Uh, the positions. We click here. Is this going to work? Oh, yes. And here, we click here. Hopefully, in our design library, they're going to have a hundred degree flathead, but we'll f we'll find out. Um, okay, and now you can see I'm just going to exit out of the part, and now you can see we have a nice countersink in our um, sheet metal there. So um, let's save that, and we'll come around, and we have our standoffs. Um, our board's not quite yet mounted. Let's get the four. So let's go in here. Um, Hopefully you have a design library set up, toolbox, ANSI inch, bolts and screws. Um, machine screws. And we're going to get, a, 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 I'm looking here, can I see any flat, uh, countersink head, good stuff. Um, see, you have a kind of a really limited selection. Um, countersink. Is there anywhere else? Uh, Machine screws, set screws, socket head. Is there is there fl is there socket head, countersunk head, cap screw? That might do the job for us. Yeah, I like that. So we go into socket head screws, socket head, and I'm going to drag this in. I haven't done this in a while. Can I go insert into assembly or can I create part? Um, I want it to be 440. Now the length of it is going to be a quarter of an inch, not more than a quarter of an inch. Um. We'll make it, I think I'm going to make a point one eight eight. Uh, thread display, we'll leave it simplified. And I'm going to go, okay. Now where is it? Oh, that's useless, let's go back. There it is, right there. Um, I need to explain why I don't like um, this this um, design library when I'm d d when I'm downloading uh, hardware. There's two reasons. Everything I design, I I would use MacMaster Car for the hardware, the the screws, the bolts, the nuts, the washers, all of that. Um, so it's nice to have the part numbers already in place and it's already to go. That's the first reason. The second reason is if I'm ever transporting or I'm actually transmitting 
files across computers. Um, uh, if the design library is in a different folder, there's always kind of issues with linking. Um, uh, so that's the second reason, but uh, I'm, and it's probably just habit now at this stage. Now, I don't know is this what angle this is, so I'm guessing it's... Um, let's have a look. Can we see? Does it tell us what, what angle? 82 degrees right here. So my 100 degree holes are not going to work. Now, let's... Hold on a second. Let's measure something here, and let's measure from there to there. Now, that needs to be... See, that's too big of a... That's too... Height, that height is too big, and we're, bo we're, we're bollocks one way or another. Um, this is useless. Um, we have a 50 thousandths, so this is not going to work for us. Um, yeah, we're, 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 we're stuck between a rock and a hard place without McMaster car. Um, if I type in screws, come on, is it going to... Um, countersunk. It seems to be moving a little bit faster. Countersunk. Um, no, we don't want that. Let's just go to screws. It seems to be moving a bit faster. Ah, thank Christ. Um, machine screws. Flatheads. Ah, we're laughing now. We're at normal speed. 440. Um... Let's slow down. We need 100 degree flathead machine screws. This is good. Uh, the length, 3 sixteenths. Here we go. This is what we want. Excellent. Okay, we'll save that. We'll put that in um, the hardware. I'm I'm gonna I think I'm gonna delete that that standoff and show you how to download the standoff from McMaster Car. That's good. Let's type in standoff now. Okay, look at this. Now we're back. Male to female. I don't slow down on me now. Um, okay, we're laughing. Length one quarter inch. Okay. Four four forty. Um stainless steel. Right here. Um we'll just do this one right here. Um what's the part number? Nine one oh seven five A one oh one. Now does it come with a model? It might is it does it come with a model? It might it should. Um That's the part number you want. I don't know why this isn't coming up. This is, I think they're just doing a bit of work on their site today. Um, there it is. We just need patience is all, I think. Kind of want to keep it consistent. We'll go back and put in the screw while it's downloading. Um, I think it's this one here, A150. There it is there. Look at that beautiful model. Okay. Okay, let's turn off all these planes though. Okay. Now, um, we'll mate that face there with that face there now is it is it going concentric that that will do the job we'll flip it around and i'm going to click that face there with that face there and it will just fit right in okay that's how it's done 100 degrees uh in europe um you know i don't know what you use for sheet metal i'm guessing it's a i'm guessing it's 90 degrees so you're going to have um look it wouldn't be any there's no harm in you um working in um in, in uh, american units for uh, it'll be good practice for you, but okay. Uh, 
And has that downloaded? Okay, lovely. Let's save that. Um, and we'll put it in hardware. Okay, that's 101. Now, hold on. Let's, let's minimize this. Okay. Um, now, let's do something. Um, let's turn this guy off. Look, I'm going to leave them in there. I'm not going to swap them out. They're going to be the exact same model. At least you know how you can find the part number. Um, let's let's not go let's not go too crazy. Um, do you know what I'm saying? Uh, it it'll do. It's going to be the exact same model. So now our screws are going in. The thing with with. Um, Drafting and SolidWorks and, and design and engineering, you get very anal about about things, um, and that's not a little bit too anal to be quite honest. Um, okay, so let's just make those in. Okay, now let let me just show what this looks like from a, a section view, and you'll see how it works. Um, So how does, it, how does the board, the, the screw goes through the sheet metal, up into the standoff, the standoff protrudes through the hole in the board, and we have a nut right there, okay? So what do we want? We're going to get um, a nut. What type of nut? I'm going to get a lock nut myself. Okay, there you go. Um, just a normal lock nut. What is it? Is it 256 or 440 or 632? What size is it? I can't remember. I ah, know it's 440. Um, a nylon insert lock nut. A nylon insert grips threads to resist loosening. Okay, they're a pain to unscrew, but once you get in there, once you install them there, they're not going to vibrate out. We'll hit save. We'll drag it into. Um, we'll drag it into hardware. Hopefully, it's not too big. Uh, what is it? Zero zero five. Now we can drag it from here. Hopefully it's not too big. Um, there we go. Um, we'll make. If you want to get a concentric surface, this is that. That's actually a concentric surface. Um, and we'll go onto here. And I'll go from there. So let me just pull this up. Oops. And I'll make. there to there look at that lovely now we're gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on I don't think it's gonna fit on all four corners but we'll I'll give it a try I'll try the two I'll do the two easy ones first let's click the part and go one two three Hopefully this, hopefully th this, this, I, I, you know, I have no idea, to, hopefully this um, project is making sense and it's not just um, too much, you know, I really don't know. Um, I actually haven't tested this out in a class, so I, I don't really know how this is going to go, but we'll find out. Um, it's exactly what you're going to be doing, you know, if you're, or, or it's the type of work I've been doing for years, there's, there's a lot of it out there. Now, um, Excellent. Okay. Now that's that. And then um, let's see will this fit. We don't want an edge. Let's get a face. I don't think that's going to fit now, but we'll Yeah, that's not going to fit. Um, you know, a board if a, a, a board designer would would probably have a hole in the middle. Um, do you know? Uh, there's not much we can do. I wouldn't worry. Look, we're gonna we're gonna take. I'm gonna leave that in there. It's fine. It'll do. Um, 
the reality is if, is if this was the board uh, we would have to change the we would have what we would do here is we would have um this would be a male it would be a female to female and you would just have a little nut a, a little or a ball coming in from this way i'm going to leave that the way it is um you could also get a dremel and just cut that corner out and you'd fit it in there that's again that's bad form but um there's that now what else so the board is in place um let's just save this you can see all these details take time um the board is in place we have our pin nuts in let's work on um the lcd this is a bit of a pain now the we need a screw that goes from there to here at least and then we're going to have to have a spacer and that's 0.36 i'm going to get a half an inch screw and i'm going to use black um socket head screws so we're going to i'll type in screws socket head cap screws i'm going to get um f we'll go with uh, just normal socket heads um let's see what size of a hole this is i think it's 440 point 0.1 so it's a little bit smaller um Let's check this circuit board. Is it point 0.1? Point 0.1. So we're going to need 256. So it's a bit smaller. Um, how do I know? Where, where am I getting this information from? How do I know that it's 256 even? We're going to go to about um, machine screws. And let's look at the diameters of the screws down the bottom. Now, this says point 0.1. Point 0.1 is, is what it was. Now you can see your number 4 is point 0.112. It's too big. Nobody really uses number 3s. Uh, I've never actually seen one in my life. So uh, the common ones are 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay? Now, so we're going to have to use a number 2 screw. That's where I'm getting that from. So, the other thing you could do is you'd have to... Might, uh, you don't drill out holes on a circuit board. That's, that's a last resort. Okay? Um, so we go socket head cap screws now let's see do we have 256 okay there we go it's going to be small and we're going to make it a half an inch in length and it's going to be a button head a button head is a good screw to have let's slow down let's slow down let's go back not a socket head let's go back i don't want a socket head no is that all we have Okay, that's it then. All right, uh, this is what we'll use. We might have to get washers in there. 0.14, that's okay, that will work. We'll download this, put this in hardware. Okay. Now that should be black, as so we might have to change the, the um, we might have to change the, um, the appearance of it. So we'll just get one. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And we go from there to there. Now th that's that's going to be perfect. Okay. Now we're going to need some sort of a spacer though here between. So what's the distance from there? Come on now. We're going to need a spacer, you'll see, or it'll pull that board in and crack the board. Um, 0.25, that's no problem. We need a 256, a quarter inch spacer. I'm, get, I'm telling you too much information. You're going to be probably taking work away from me in about a year's time. I regret this. right that's that um and then we need the spacer so and then we're going to have nuts behind that so watch this spacer um what is the length a quarter of an inch um for screw size number two it's outer diameter let's make it a quarter inch is too much we'll make it three sixteenths um inner diameter you know we want that a bit smaller um for number two inner diameter 
uh, untreaded spaces. Will that fit? Inner diameter point. Yeah, that'll fit actually. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, this is what we want. Um, save. Where does it go? Hardware. Right, we drag it out. Just put it right there. Now watch this. Um, let's turn him off. Let's click the spacer. Look how many parts we have. You know, it's like even a simple, sh a simple little design like this. You're talking a lot of parts. A lot of bit. We'll we'll create a bill of materials and all of that, and create a nice strong package. Um. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Now, what do you think goes in between there and there? Hope you know. Um, okay, that's that. all right so there's all the spacers now hold on let's uh, go back and turn on our sheet metal enclosure and now you have the the screw you have the sheet metal you have the spacer and then you have the printed circuit board that's how you would hold it in okay and it doesn't look too too shoddy uh, we need we need some um, this would have been a nightmare uh, trying to find all of this uh, hex nuts 256 what's going on here hex nuts 256 steel width it doesn't matter this will do the job you have the part number there save Let's put this in hardware first. It's up to you if you wanted to use, um, if you wanted to use, uh, I whenever I'm trying to pick, um, let's see will this work though. I don't think that face will work as a conical surface. Yeah, it does. Uh, now where is it? There it is right there. And we'll go from you to you. Things you have to watch out with hardware is you want to make sure that you have enough room that you're not shorting anything on the circuit board. There's no worries here on this type of board. You can't copy it. You got it. We got to select it on the assembly uh, tree. One, two, three. Any any conical surface will work right there. Now, see, see, that's what I'm saying. I just got a tangent made there by accident. I'm going to click that face. That face there has a center line going straight through the nut, which is what I want. And then this one, this one will do as well. And then we click on the board, and right there. Okay. And we'll do the same here. And there. There. And there. there and we'll get this guy right there and then this face and here and that's it now the board is in place okay now furthermore if you guys wanted to show off and um, there is a routing add-on to SOLIDWORKS that you could probably route some cables from these connectors to this board here somewhere that would be showing off there's nothing wrong with that um, but but I, there's there's no way in hell that I'm, I'm going to do it because it's just too much of a pain. Um, this this guy is held in place by a snap fitting. This guy just gets pushed in and it gets snapped in. If you want to take it out, you put one hand there and another another finger there and another finger there and you can jam it back out. But he's good. He's he's. I don't have to worry about him. Um, what's next? We have 440.14. Um, it's a little bit big, these holes. Um, these are, 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 are large holes because... Um, for forgiveness but I'm going to put in I could use 632's there though um, let me just look at the size again screws 
about screws let's look at the size um, six number six is point one three eight yeah I could put point one number six is in there to hold those and it's a bit big though for what we're trying to do um, yeah but they're pretty big that's point one four they're, yeah they're, they're, they're four six thirty twos um, now what's the length we need we need to go from there to here <gasps> are you gonna tell me point it's also it's more we need it to be five eighths okay five eighths <clears throat> I'm gonna save my work here I'm afraid I'm this thing's gonna crash um, and then when I get back we will put in the 632s um, yeah we're okay let's Okay, what's next? We're going to put in um, some screws in here for the, the fans, and we're going to put some screws in there for all the connectors. Uh, then we're going to put a cover. Uh, we're going to put the screws to screw the cover on, and then we're going to uh, uh, install um, four bumpers. That's it. I'm going to start moving a bit fast now because um, four bumpers will do the job, and then this thing will look nice. So let's, let's uh, hustle, and let's get some screws going. We're going to get some button head screws. I like button heads. Um, you don't need a washer with them, that's the thing. We're going to use 632s. Um, it doesn't really matter whether they're full or partial. Um, I'm a big fan of black, black oxide. The length we need are 5 eighths. You can see when McMaster car is working at full speed, it's, it's, it is nice. Do you know? Um, it's good for, for um, models. So 150. Okay, um, I'm going to hit the, the view, I'm going to go display, and uh, come on now, hide, hide all types. Um, now, hold on, let me see if I can help you here for one second. Um, I'm going to, see that's big, but, but uh, it's... It, it look we'll serve it it'll do uh it's a bit ugly sticking out i'm not gonna lie um um i'm gonna create a sketch on here and i'm going to put in four points um and that'll help one two you're gonna like this if i can get it to work i, I don't use this trick very much i'll be i have to be honest with you we're going, to, we're going to do something called a sketch-driven pattern, and it will take the, the points of the sketch, and it will array the um, screws instead of me having to bloody um, make them like crazy. Enough is enough. Um, let's turn this guy back on. Don't worry about the fact that it's sticking out. Um, you know, that would kind of bother me, but we're, we're, going, to, we're going to let it go. Um, sketch-driven component pattern. Components of the pattern are going to be this guy. The sketch, we're going to select it here, down the very bottom. Um, component origin, selected point. Now, what? why? I need to get a point in this screw, don't I, in order to do that. Can I select that original point? Component origin, let's see what it's doing. This I have an issue with this kind of... Um, uh, I need to pick a selected point on here. Um, can I select? Yeah, that might do the job. Come on now. Oh, yeah. What's happening here is I had to use this edge here, the center of that circle, and I picked it up, which does. The only issue is it's it's copying one on top. Um, instances to skip. Why... Yeah, what I need to do is is I need to go back to this sketch here and turn off this point. And it should be good. It's what it's doing is it's copying or overlaying one on top of the other. And there you go, that was quick. Um and we're gonna do the same with the we're gonna do the same with the nut. Lock nuts. Ah, oh, come on now. Lock butts. No. Didn't even know of such a thing. Lock nuts. 
nylon insert lock nuts very common 632 um, steel will do the job just uh, right here you go you have the part number there you can download it let's put this in our, our uh, hardware directory let's go in here now um, we're going to do the same um, I'm going to uh, rotate this component let's make that that conical face with let's see will this face work I don't know if it will what about this that face there should do maybe maybe not is it working no it doesn't like that okay that's okay we can get the inside of the there that does the job and then this face Now you just want to make sure that it's not going to interfere, which it's not. That'll be fine. Okay. Now, can I do this? Can I go... Um, can I make a pattern of this? Ah, oh, yes. I love it. That makes it a bit easier. Now, now uh, look at this. We have a problem. Do we have a problem? Um, let's... We need to take a section of this. We have to check something like that would sink you. We'd, you'd have a problem, you know. So check interference when you're doing uh, electronic enclosure design is critical. So you've got to check parts hitting against each other. That that that's gonna that's you're gonna be taken out a file or a Dremel. And if you make a hundred of these, you're gonna be the person who's gonna be filing and Dremeling it all all of them away. Now, um, believe it or not, uh, whenever you connect um, a connector into this there's actually standoffs here that allow you to screw it in uh, there's little thumb screws that screw the connector in you know you've seen those before we should be able to use the same guys um, so I'm going to highlight this and copy and paste it it's the same these are 440s um, so th this is actually the standoff that has been used so that that makes life my life a little bit easier so we just go like that flip it around This is a little, it's sticking out a little bit too much, or is that, is it flush? That's typically what is used. Um, that might be a bit wide. No, this isn't right. That's not the standoff that's used for that. So let's, let's, let's do a proper job. Um, we have that. Um, we go to standoffs. Male to female. Stainless steel inch 440 the length is going to be I th I think I'm going to go with 730 seconds the hex size will be 3 16 I'm going to click here the hex size if you have too fat a standoff you're not going to be able to get your connector in there so um, you know I'm not 100% sure what that size is but I'm I'm pretty confident that this is, is is the size of the standoff. So we let that um, download it. Now it's probably getting slow again. I'm going to save my work. Um, I'm going to measure this hole here. I'm pretty sure that's two fifty six. Yeah, which it is. Um, and then these guys are four forties. No. Um, that's a shame there you go okay we'll try it again male to female uh, 730 seconds uh, what do we say 440 stainless steel be a good lad uh, here you go product detail come on now good stuff um, we'll save it I'm working it hard, I'm driving it hard, like Master Car today. I will give it a second. Can we can we press enter or is it gonna reload it again?
Um, what else are we missing here? Look, while that's downloading, while that's trying to figure out what it's trying to do, um, we'll create the lid. Um, okay, uh, new part. Okay, we're going to click this face right here. I'm going to go normal to, and I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to draw it from that point right there down to there. Uh, I'm going to add some fillets, little fillets. Point one will do. Now um, these guys are 440 pim nuts. I'm go the the let's let's exit sketch and we will uh, extrude it and it's this new part um, it's going to be 50 thousandths thick 0 0.05 I'd like to put some sort of cut out here because that is boring um, let's right click let's click on this um, hole wizard we're going to get a true hole for um, a clearance hole, screw clearance for 440. Um, and we're going to go to positions. And we'll go normal to. Now, I wanna, I'm going to have to turn on the, the hidden lines, and this is going to be a lot going on. That's okay. And we just lock into these points. Okay, we'll go okay. It should burst all the way through. Go normal too, and now we have a way of screwing the lid in. Look at that. Um, it's ugly. We need to do some. We need to do something on the top here. Um, we need to have some sort of. Um, you know, you could have some sort of a logo, and you could cut it out. Um, so, if you wanted to get the SolidWorks logo, how could we cut that out? Let me just think about that for a second. Let's go back here and see does this work. Ah, there it is. Good, good man. And we'll put this in here. And then we'll go back to here and drag that out. Now, let's move this over. I'm going to, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do the SolidWorks cut out here. And then we're gonna, we, we, we'll make this thing look pretty. Don't worry. Um, let's turn off this lid now. It's part two. We're going to have to give that a proper name now in a little bit. And we will, we will, um, we will do. Let's let's get this in here. Flip this around. You see what I mean? Look at this. It's the right length now. Okay, tiny bit too long. This will do. Um, you have the part number. Two, three. go there to there <coughs> and there to there and there to there that little Java right we have our look at that lovely that's good what's next 440s uh, now these are 256 is okay screws what sort of length do we want we're gonna go from this face to the very end this is a blind hole so we're going to go to there now what is that that's a quarter of an inch will do um screws socket head cap screws 256s if you weren't sure you could find the part you could find the data sheet of that connector and it will tell you what threaded holes there what size there 256 a quarter inch black oxide is looks good um there's your part number product detail save We'll do it again. We'll put it in hardware. 
that's long that's a long screw anyway that looks okay we go down to the bottom now watch this um, I'm gonna drag him and pull him all the way down and I'm gonna highlight this one and I'm gonna highlight go to the very very top I'm using uh, no let, let's try that from there down to the very very bottom I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go add to new folder I'm gonna call this hardware and now it's not as crazy as before I hope this isn't I really hope this isn't blown just if it's I hope it's not just complete overkill it it's hard from to me this is so simple uh, I've been doing it for so long um, but but you know um, hopefully you're getting something out of this um, I, I really I have no idea um, I'm sorry I got it what do I need to do I need to get highlighted here in the assembly tree and then I can copy and paste I'm pressing control C and control V just to copy it Um, that's it we're nearly done I know you don't believe me well we're nearly done the the hardware parts um, now uh, we'll go to socket head cap screws uh, that'll do yeah socket head cap screws uh, 440 the length we need to go from let's go back here for a second from here to there 0.17 we'll get a quarter of an inch uh, a quarter of an inch here we go. This will do. A lot of hardware, even for something quite simple. You're get your okay. Now watch this. Um, we'll do the same. We'll go um, sketch. We'll create a sketch on that face. I'm going to put in some points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We get out of here. I didn't. I'm not going to put it in that top one. You'll see why, or you probably know why. And. Uh, We'll just mate, we'll put one in, mate that to there. Hopefully this is not too big. We'll, f we'll see now in about two seconds. Mm, that's That will do the job, just barely. Um, good. Okay. Um, sketch driven pattern. We're going to, we're going to array this guy. We'll hit the plus key. I know you can't see a whole lot. Let's go down the bottom. All right. What are we going to do? Selected point. Now I'm going to have to click this circle right, this one right there, I think. And there it goes. Very useful. That would be a pain to have to array all of those. Is that right? Let me have a look. Yeah, it just barely fits. <coughs> this guy. There's a hole going through the sheet metal, and you have your nut there, and that nut will turn, and it will it will it will tighten up your your DC jack. You would use a, a little wrench, and you would tighten that bad boy up, and it would be good. Yeah, typically they vibrate free a little bit every now and again, but uh, it would do the job. Um, I think that's all the hardware. That's everything. Um, we'll save it, and let's let's save this externally. This is going to be the enclosure cover there's going to be a substantial drawing package on this I'm going to do this next week uh, well I'm going to do it this afternoon but you guys will be working on it next week um, now there's that uh, the two things I want to do is I need to add hardware onto there and look we may as well just do it um, what hardware are we going to use I'm just going to use these guys It's 440. Um, we'll do a sketch again on that face. 
and we'll do get the points going. This is a I'm starting to use this a lot more. I, I would have just worked through that and just put in the bloody hole this the, the bolts and it would have taken me five minutes, but it's it's tedious. Use the sketch driven pattern, it's it's a lot easier. It's a lot faster. But leave one out, okay? There's that. And uh, let's do it again. A sketch driven pattern. Components to pattern are this. Um, none of you are going to do this, but I'm gonna give you I'm gonna offer you a suggestion. And I know I have a feeling nobody's gonna do it, but this is really what you should do. Oh, come on, let's see if I can get this. Come on. I'll get here we go. Okay. Once you're done with this entire project, following me along, you should delete all your work and you should redo it again without my baby stepping you through it. Then you're going to remember it. There's a l there's a lot going on in this project. Um, really, you should redo this. It is the best thing you can do. Um, now let's. I'm going to save this. Oh, we've only okay. Um, okay, what are we going to work on now? Um, we're going to get, I'm going to find a SOLIDWORKS logo and put that on the top. This DS business. This will do, I like this. Um, I'm going to save that, save that to my desktop. And watch this. I'm going to open this part. I'm hoping that's the top, yep. Yeah. I'm going to create a sketch on here and I'm going to go insert, insert sketch from drawing. No, um, I haven't done this in a while. Part, uh, insert object. No, I don't want that. I want to insert a picture. Tools. Sketch tools, sketch picture, desktop. Oh, yeah, and watch this. Um, transparency, full image. Let's turn this transparency up a little bit and see where this lies. That's good. We don't need, we don't need to go crazy. Now, I wish we could do something with this. Um, there, there might be a way that we can extract that curve information of me having to draw it. Tools, sketch tools. There should be a thing we can get. If I click on this, double click on this. Uh, transparency is good. Can I? Is there anything else I can highlight here? No, that's that. Okay. I don't have to draw this, but it would take two seconds. I still don't want to do it. Um, how do I get? the curve information from a sketch and I've done this before um, sketch entities sketch tools there is such a thing give me one second um, SolarWorks um, sketch picture Trace, there you go. Auto trace, that's what we want. Where is auto trace? Where is it? Where is it? Where? Two, oh, it's an add on. Okay. Tools, add ins. Tools, add ins. Where is auto trace? Maybe do we have it? Can we go OK? SolidWorks add ins. Uh, I don't see where auto trace is. Okay. Let's go back. A pop-up menu will appear. Okay. Open a sketch and insert an image. Okay. Uh, where the hell is Auto Trace? If I right-click here, can I find it? 
trace, trace, no. Is this it here? Design checker, no, we don't want that. Just give me five minutes and I'm going to see if I can figure out this auto trace business. Tools, sketch tools, sketch, sketch tools. Where's auto trace? Can I find it? You're going to like this if this works. Auto trace. Sketch picture. Sketch tools. Okay. Yeah, see, it should be here. If I double click on this sky, here it is. Now I have it. I click this right mouse button. Begin trace. I'm going to hide. Where did you go? Um, okay, let's let's do this. Um, why did that go away? Um, I'll double click on it. Okay, I'll go right. It goes away. I'm going to highlight this. Can I highlight? Does it highlight any of that? Uh, begin trace. It's a bit funky. Uh, recognition tolerance. Can I bring it up a little bit and go apply? Let's try it again. Double click on it. If you can't figure this out, you know what splines are. You're going to draw this out with curves. It's probably going to look better, but I'm, but I'm going to see if I can figure this out. Um, let's pull this up a little bit. Um, we'll highlight all of this. We'll go begin trace. Man, that's a bit rough. Is that what it looks like? If I go apply and I go OK, oh, that's rough. This is good. Well, this is pop. This is not good. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's useless. Um, let's try it again. What's this? Use to select color. Um, now, where I can't see my 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 image here. Um, what happens if I change this to transparency and I go next and let's hold on a second let's turn let's can we turn this off and let's go and let's try that again double click on it next and I I'm gonna go highlight And I'm going to go begin trace. It's getting better. Uh, image brightness. Can we turn it down? Image contrast. Does it? Does 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 that help? If, so it actually does change in real time. Color tolerance. That's a bit better. Recognition tolerance. Um, use it to select color. I don't know if I wanted to apply there. Look, that's it's not bad. It will do. Um, let's um, edit the sketch and let's delete this. Can I turn the sketch picture off? Um, let's turn back on this and let's uh, edit the sketch. We're, we are editing the sketch. If I want to delete this line, can I delete it? Does it delete the whole thing? Good man. Um, let's edit the sketch. Come on, here we go. I'll double click on this image to get rid of it. We'll, we'll, uh, can we turn it off? Um, there, there we go. I'm having to manually just highlight these. This is okay, but um, we'll exit the sketch. Uh, we go extrude cut. Um, see, I have a feeling there's a break somewhere there. Hmm. 
There it is, right there. Uh, okay, we'll have to go, we'll have to fix that. The guys and the people in my class, um, I'd expect you to. Um, when we cut this out, we'll see what it looks like. It mightn't look too bad, but I, I expect you to do a little bit better of a job than I'm doing. Okay. Um, we need to. We need to. Um, I want to get in there and, and fill it some of that. It's it's too sharp. Point zero five. make it a bit smaller take these sharp corners out um, this might improve it a little bit Good. Now, what happens if I make that a little bit bigger? Actually, 0 0.05. I don't even want to make it a bit bigger. 0 0.1. Does that work? And I go OK. Um, that actually improves it a little bit. Uh, let's save that. Now, the only issue is this p this piece here is not going to survive. That D sticking out. Um, OK. Let's fix that. Um, Somebody's going to put their finger and push that right through. Um, and they'd be right to do that. So let's draw a little line between there and there. Let's make this a bit bigger. Don't don't go changing. Um, I'll click here and I'm going to make this fixed. And put um, No, don't do that. Let's delete, delete that line and give it a bit of reinforcement from there to there. Um, and then rebuild that. Uh, exit the sketch and rebuild. Okay, we'll try it again. We want this, 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 and this. Alright, ugly, 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 ugly. Ah. Um, we need to fix that. Look, it's not it's it's not too bad. Okay. We save it and uh, let's go back to our, our our design. Look, it's not too bad. Um we're going to um, open up our appearances. And we're gonna even though this is all metal, we're going to I'm gonna the problem is metal when you apply appearances, it's very, very dark. It's too dark. Um We'll do the enclosure cover. That's what it kind of when you, when you powder when you uh, black anodize it, it looks kind of like that. Um, now we got that. That looks decent enough. Um, all the hardware we could probably make that silver, or we could make that with silver. We could make it metal. Um, now can I highlight all of this and give that an appearance at once? No. Okay, let's see what we can do. I'm going to go back to here. We'll go um, metal, polished steel, a chromium plate, polished aluminum. Uh, we'll just use it for an, ap an appearance. Um, now, I want to pull this out and apply this to all of these guys at once. Now, how do I, if I want to, if I right click, can I do it all at once? Um, We might be laughing here. Uh, metal, steel, um, polished steel. Will that work if I go OK? Maybe. I think, did that work? I'm not even sure. Uh, it looks, I think it looks good though. Um, I think so. OK, now what's next? Um, we're going to put some bumpers in. I'm going to save this. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop my video for a second. Think about how I'm gonna design these bumpers. Um. <coughs> right. Um, the last part of this design is creating a, a corner bumper. 
which I, 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 have it, I have it figured out in my head. I just need to think about it a little bit. Uh, once we have the corner bumper installed, um, uh, I'll stop the video and uh, next week we'll move on to creating the drawing package for this, which is um, which is important. You're going to have an exploded assembly, bill of materials. Um, uh, you're going to have uh, sheet metal drawings for the cover and you're going to have sheet metal drawings for the, the actual sheet metal enclosure. Um, and that's it. So uh, let's move on. Let's create a new part. Now let me see where I'm going to create this part. Where's that top plane? Is that where I want it? No. I'm going to create a plane that's in the center between that face and the bottom face, a center plane. And we'll call it, I'm going to click on it and let's give it a, a proper name. We'll call it center plane. All right. And we're going to create a new part there. I'm going to click on center plane and I'm going to go to a uh, new part and uh, I'm going to go and we're going to look at it dead on. If I can create a bumper on one corner, I'm just going to array it around. We would just reuse it. Now, um, I'm going to click this, this, no, not that face. Now, let's create a sketch first before we go too crazy. And let's create a sketch on, no. See, that didn't work. We've got to be careful here. So where's my part? Here it is, part number three. I'm going to create a sketch on this plane right here. And we'll click this face, this line, on this line. I'm holding on my control key. And I'm going to go convert entities. And I'm going to just create like an L shape corner bumper. Too, maybe a bit too much. And it looks something like that's a funny. I don't know if I want it on that. That that's not really want it. No, we're going to have to get out, get out of here, and get out of here for one second. Now, why isn't it? Um, I want to draw it on the center plane. I'm going to delete that part that I created. That was a d that didn't work. Let's create the center plane again, and let's create um, a part on that center plane. Okay. It says where do you want to create the part? You probably can't see it. I'm going to click the center plane. All right. I'm going to create a sketch on there. Now let's see. Is this going to work? Is this in the part? Yeah. Now why is it putting it down there? It doesn't make any sense. All right. Uh, hold on for one second here. Um, why? Wh where is that center plane? Is that center plane where I want it to be? Yeah. Now I want to create a part on there. Um. So I click the center plane. I go to assembly, new part. Okay. Now is it asking me? Is it asking me anything? Select the face or plane on which to part, put the part. I want it there. Okay. Is that on the right face now? Okay. So I think we're good. You need to create the sketch on the center plane. If you want, it needs. To, we need a new part. That I think you're going to get bogged down there a little bit. But there's a little bit. You do not want to create an assembly sketch. That's not what you want. You'll see if you you. you if you screw it up, you'll understand. But you want you, we want a new part, and you want to create a sketch on that center plane. So let's see. Does this work? Okay, let's. That's what we want. No good. Um, it doesn't help that the, all of this is black. I get it. I probably should have. I was a bit premature. Uh, now I have an L, I have kind of an L shaped bracket. Let's make this, let's, is this a curve? It is a curve. Um, let's, let's make that horizontal. That's good, I like that, that's about right. Now what is this, um, we want to make that about 0.25. We make this about the same. And all right, we'll make that about 1.25, and we'll make this about 1.25. Now it's getting a bit close to that, but that's a bit that's too much. Too much. Let's make this one, and let's make this one. 
it's a bit close to that button to be honest um, you know um, and that's okay right we're going to um, extrude that I'll go in here and find that sketch and yeah that's not gonna work too well is it there's a break there so let's go back to that sketch yeah I, I know I'm not helping you here with this um, we there, there's a break right there because of the sheet metal I don't know how well you can see that um, like so so what do we do um, can we extend that line yeah and we'll extend that line and now we have a 90 degrees and then we'll trim it and we'll exit out of this and I'm gonna go to extrude and I need to find the sketch I think this will be fine we'll bring it up in that direction and I'm gonna have direction two. I'm gonna go mid plane and there we go it's gonna be something like that don't worry we're not done yet we're gonna make it uh, what happens if we make it two let's make it 2.1 um, okay all right we have that uh, I'm gonna create a sketch on this face all right and we'll make this point to there um, and this to there and I'll exit out of this and we will go extrude and we'll we'll um, flip this round we're gonna go blind we'll flip it uh, we're gonna make this 0.25 is it gonna interfere yeah we're gonna make this um, 0.125 that's not quite we're gonna have to bring it down to that deck uh, 0.15 okay not it's not quite there yet. we make it 155 0.155 um, you're probably thinking to yourself why doesn't he why doesn't he um, bring it down to surface I don't want to kind of hardwire that in I want to just put in a hard number um, uh, 0.1.16 no it's not quite there yet let's make it 0.17 that'll do 0.17 Okay, um, now I'm gonna now now I kind of have the dimensions that I need. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna put this in a open it up at the part level, and where's my front plane? I'm gonna mirror this over. This bit of it over. There's not that extrude. We'll mirror this second one to there, and I feel like what I want to do is I want to bring this a little bit higher. I'm gonna make a two point two. And I'm going to have to make this a little bit thicker. Um, I'm going to make this 0.2. Hopefully that's... Let, let's check and see what that looks like. I'm going to save it. I'm pressing Control tab and I'm going back to the assembly. And I could probably bring that a little bit down more. Um, 0 0.205. Maybe even 0.21. And I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna start going crazy with fillets, and this thing will it'll start looking a lot better. Um, maybe 0.25, and then we put a corner there, and a corner there, and a corner there. Uh, that's that, and then we will have a little fillet here on there. We'll make this 0.1, and we'll do the same here. 0.1. And I'm going to save that. And that's a bit overkill. Um, that l it's okay. Um, it looks a little bit better. Um, we could take a cut out in here. You could. Do, what could we do? We could take a little cut out there. Is it a bit big? A bit bulky? Um, uh, now what are you going to do? How are you going to bolt this to the actual e e enclosure? Um, let's just give it a colour and then we'll array it. Uh, it's going to be made out of plastic. 
a medium gloss. I'm going to make it out of a nice bright, bright red. Um, it's okay. You know, the nice thing about these bumpers is you better stack them on top of each other. If you, let's say, if you drill a hole here, if you drill a hole, and um, and you have a stud sticking out of this, you you, sh you actually might be able to stack these guys. Anyway, um, let we'll do it. Um, let's just do that really quick. Let's just stop messing around and get a center line. Let's put in a midpoint. Yeah, that's good. We'll make it um, point two. We don't want to go too deep. Uh, we'll make a point one. All right, there's that. And then you're going to do the exact opposite here. You're going to create a sketch. Um, we're going to make it we'll drill a hole um, no we're not going to drill a hole we're going to create a boss 0.72 ok we're going to extrude that by how much um, 0.1 you're going to like this you'll see what this does We'll save it. Okay, what what it will allow us to do is stack them if this was a piece of equipment. Now we still need to find a way of bolting this to there. Um, I'm not going to do it for you, but you could drill a hole in that, put a pin nut on the underside, maybe, or um, you might have to have some screws, um, or you could epoxy it on, which is not good because you you, you need to take these off to get the lid on. Um, What's the easiest way? The easiest way is a po would be to epoxy them on, but that's lame. You're going to have to probably have uh, pin nuts on those guys, and you'd have to have some screw, a f a f a some sort of a screw going in, and then a screw from the bottom. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, you guys can work. You can go you guys can design that up. Um, now let's open this up. And we'll save this as um, enclosure bumper bummer. Uh, let's try that again. Bumper. Okay, that's good. Now watch this. Um, do I have planes here? No, that's not what I want. Um, where am I? Enclosure cover. Enclosure bumper. If I go to sheet metal enclosure, do I have some? Do I have some uh, planes that I can use? Um, I need to have some center planes, and I don't think they're at the front and top and right um, to mirror this. I wouldn't get bogged down on on finding a way to mount this to the enclosure. Um, that's just designed, you know. You'd have to think about it. Um, you know, I think the main function of this project is to is just to is just to show you some different stuff, um, create a nice drawing that might help you in an interview. That's kind of what I was aiming for. So we'll go from there to there. That's one center plane. We center plane. Um, we'll call this. Let me just click here. Come on now, center plane two, and we'll do another one. That's center plan three. Um, okay, let's mirror it. Now, we, um, if I go okay, is it going to mirror? Yeah, no, it doesn't. It doesn't do that. 
Uh, okay, we'll have to go back and figure out why that's not mirroring. I think we might have to do um, an opposite hand version. There we go. You wouldn't need to create a different part for that because the same part could be used there. There. And then center plane three. Um, mirror components. One and two across there. Uh, opposite hand version. Now what's going on with this guy? Opposite hand version. And we go OK. And there it is. It's it's okay. I'm not, I'm happy enough with it. Um, this is not going to work. Um, so watch this. That's not going to work there. Uh, this is okay. This is not great. We need to fix that. Um, and let me think about this just for one second. I'm going to save it. Um, and bumpers are a bit big. Let's go back and maybe open up. Um. Uh, oh, we'll edit this bumper in here, see what we can do with this. Um, is there anything we can do? Enclosure bumper. Um, let's let's type maybe one. Let's make this 0.75 and see if we can. Does it look? We can get it to look a little bit better. 0.75. Um, and let's just bring this thickness in. We make it 0.2. Um, okay mm. <laughs> we'll have to change this as well it's not gonna work uh, point seven five we'll make it point five that's good it's okay um point five yeah it's it's okay um and then this guy will be 0 0.475 it needs to make it a bit smaller um and that will stick out um and that doesn't interfere there and it doesn't really interfere there either um okay what about a different color That's a that that's actually a bit better, um, there. And we we'll do the same here as well. Um, look, it's your first design. It's your first enclosure. Uh, it's not too bad, you know. Um, it's you, you understand. This, you should have a good idea on the idea of design now, or, or how it how it all works. Um, you could make these silver. And make them black and that might work a little bit better too if we go to um just messing around with the appearances uh metal aluminium brushed aluminium if i go your see that it doesn't really pop out um do i have um the rendering turned on in this thing it's i thought it would do a little bit better than that um What happens if I make this brushed aluminium as well? And everything else is black. Um, all the hardware is black. So let's see, do we have all the hardware? If I click on hardware, can I right click there or not? Uh, do I need to select everything? Now what are we missing here? Um, let's, we're missing some hardware. Uh, we we'll grab this and can we put this in here? Will that go into hardware? No. Okay, let's highlight all of this again. Um, we're going to go to um, plastic low gloss, and we'll. Can I click on that? Or do I need to right click it here? Right click here. Um, appearance. We don't want that. Um, we'll do it again. Let's highlight it all right click on any one of them um can i click the beach ball if i click there can i select um okay low gloss dark gray low gloss and can i go okay now it's just done a few of them okay that's fair enough all right it's it's done those um can i can i grab all of these and put these into hardware 
Will let me do that? No, uh, but that's okay. Uh, we'll right click here, we'll do the same with them. I'm going to make a uh, low gloss dark gray. It got those guys. And then we'll do the rest. I think this is going to look a little bit better. Um, give me one second, I'm going to try something again. Um, I'm holding down the shift key just to help you. Um, now what are these top guys? Where are they hiding out? Here. Okay. Uh, we'll do the same here. Appearances. Just hit this top button. Uh, low gloss, dark grey. And we go okay. Now, is that everything? Black, black, black. Yeah, that looks good. All right. Now, um, we're going to save this. Um, now, I have a graphics card in this. We should be able to render this and see what this looks like. Um, tools, add-ins. Uh, maybe I don't have any rendering. Photo view 360. I'm going to go OK. Render tools. I'm going to go to preview window. Um, put on perspective view then. Just give it a second. We'll go allow access. No, I don't know what the hell is going on. Uh, I feel like I should save my work. Hey, that's all right. Um. Okay, just hold on a second. Um, I've saved my work, okay. Um, I haven't used this in a while. I'm looking at it, edit appearance now. We don't want, we want render region maybe. This is what we want right here. Um, that's good, I can handle that. Um, now what we go in here, perspective is turned on. What about shadows? I like it. Um, preview window. I'm just going to hit final render uh, and you'll see, um, don't worry about this, I have no idea what's coming up here. Um, right, I'm going to render this anyway. Look, we're done with the modeling aspect of this project. Um, we're going to move on to the drawings. Um, you don't create an assembly like this without drawings. So this is it. Um, I hope you've gotten something out of this project. Um, this is definitely the longest one I've ever done. And, you know, um, good luck. Um, I'll, I'll hopefully, uh, I'll, I'll see you again for the next video when you create the drawings.